Hello everyone on the scene, so in this video is going to be added a full playthrough of my empire here, the Holy Rot Inquisition. So, the main idea behind this empire here is that these guys, the Rot, they are fanatic spiritualists. They pretty much all believe in exactly the same religion all throughout their history. It is a universal Rot religion that all of the Rot believe, and the only differences that they really have when it comes to spiritual beliefs are very slight. Of course, these differences being slight have not stopped them from going in massive holy wars against each other. In fact, most of Navaden's history, their home world, is rife with civil wars, revolutions, world wars, and crusades against people with even the slightest spiritual differences. In fact, the Rot pretty much, they, they find that the best way to celebrate their religion is actually crusading against people who either believe in something different or believe in the same thing but slightly differently. They would much rather be off fighting some holy wars as fanatic spiritualists than being priests at home. That is how they worship and of course they're genetically predisposed to war. They are adaptive natural engineers and their populations thrive during warfare. They are of course also unruly and quarrelsome which doesn't exactly lend itself to peaceful peace times. So, why has one holy wrought inquisition, why is this the final inquisition? Why have they all rallied under this flag? Well, that is because of our origin, common ground. They, the Rot, and the Holy Rot Inquisition specifically, found that aliens were out in the galaxy, and to mitigate the risk of going to war with them, as they did not really know their strength. The other aliens did not show their hand, n neither did we show our hand. And in fact, we found that the, er, the Holy Rot Inquisition found that the best way to protect themselves was just allying with these two potential alien threats. And once they did, they conquered the rest of the world, Navaden, and brought it under one flag. This flag, which I actually like. It's like a wing. It's like a star. It looks like our wing. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. They have, they have subjugated the world, and pretty much all of the Rot actually do like the, uh, the beliefs of the Rot Inquisition. They like the way that they worship. And, of course, this is the government that they have set up. It's a theocratic dictatorship with crusader spirit and hyperlane speciality they focus on crusades and blitz warfare they want to blitz down their enemies as quickly as possible and just crush them under the feet of the inquisition of course these two civics are perfect for what we're trying to do today and i guess i'll tell you what we're trying to do today today we're going to be making a common ground with a holy covenant federation which i've never played with before it's not exactly a guarantee that in the galaxy you'll find a bunch of spiritualists, so it's just not really a good federation type. In fact, I don't play with federations too often anyway. I, don't, I, I rarely create them. So, today we're definitely going to be doing that. We're going to be having one giant holy covenant, hopefully, and we're going to be using our crusader spirit liberation wars and our crusader trait commanders and our extra weapons damage, our extra fire rate. We're going to be using all of that to liberate and... Uh, change the ethics of other empires in the galaxy and make their governments more friendly towards us and more spiritualist. That is the goal. In fact, I was going to go fanatic militarist and uh, just regular spiritualist, which might make a little bit more sense for our empire, but we're going to need to go fanatic spiritualist as empires actually can get liberated or change, whatever, and then immediately switch their ethics to something else. Uh, embrace another ethic. And we don't... If, if they embrace another ethic... Uh, I want them to get rid of the militarist trait instead of the spiritualist trait, for obvious reasons, as we're trying to get them on board of our Holy Covenant. But anyway, that's that's just unnecessary. Also, we're playing with hyperspace speciality, of course, and uh, I've never played with this civic, so yeah, I'm going to see how it is. It, we're, it, it makes sense for our empire, as we're going to need to go pretty far distances pretty fast to get across the galaxy and fight whatever Holy War we need to as this is going to be, hopefully, a galactic inquisition, and hopefully a galactic a galactic holy covenant before the endgame happens. So, yeah, we have hyperspace speciality and crusader spirit. Hopefully, that does the trick. Alright, so here is going to be our settings for this inquisition. It's going to be a medium elliptical galaxy with slightly more AI empires. And I think... That's about mostly it for the differences. We have Iron Man mode on, and of course, 
the crisis is going to be two times strength and it's also going to be 50 years early well maybe we'll make it only 25 years early that that seems more reasonable we want a good amount of time before the end game to actually convert all of the different all of the different empires in the galaxy so yeah we're gonna give us some uh, some more time of course we're also going to increase the crisis strength just to make sure the crisis is a big threat even though we have that little bit more time so yeah I think that about covers it let's go all right here we are our home system with Nova Prime we have a new Federation president hopefully us ah it is us okay um, let's look at our galaxy map here Ooh, okay <laughs> I, I immediately see what we need to do we need to grab this system and go for these systems maybe even grab this system as well and go for this yeah we'll let um actually that seems kind of cruel what are these guys gonna do I don't know we, we might just go for this system we, we, we don't want our alloy or we don't want our allies to just be really weak let's see our allies anyway fanatic spiritualist xenophiles okay good 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 and let's see our other ones fanatic spiritualist xenophiles megacorp okay wait so they're both fanatic spiritualist xenophiles great okay awesome I was worried that they weren't going to be spiritualist or whatever but they are they're not warlike but <laughs> well we'll make them warlike that's fine. Incoming transmission. Of course, we're going to be doing a Holy Covenant. Yeah, Holy Covenant. Unity and tradition will be our path. We will send... I guess this guy. He can be a... Oh, no, he can't be... Oh. Okay, well, we're going to need another governor. We're also going to need another scientist. We're going to need a good amount of unity immediately. We already have two temples, so that's good. Already kind of focusing unity. Let's get our techs. Um, oh, we can immediately do this. <laughs> Hyper, Hyperlane breach points. Okay, I mean, sure. Wait, 120 months. It seems like a lot. Let's do this first, actually. Uh, let's do that. And this. Yeah, that seems good. Council agenda, build relations, federation cohesion is falling. Hopefully, yeah, okay, these guys are, these guys are also going all in. We gave up our governor to do that. I'm guessing they also gave up their governor to do that. Incoming transmission. Migration treaty. I don't think we need a migration treaty yet. We're not going to be displacing any aliens or any nonsense like that, but we're also... I don't think... Oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Research agreement. That's kind of silly. We need influence right now. We're kind of in an arms race against our own federation here, but as Incoming long as we... Oh, this is a relic world. Both of these are small worlds, though. What, what ties are these worlds? Oh, also very small. Why are all the worlds small? Oh, my. Oh, there's another world right here. Continental world. Oh, wait. We're a continental world. <gasps> oh, I set my science ship the wrong direction. Oh, no. Let's get another one going. Are we going to have a scientist ready? Yeah, Incoming we're going to have a scientist. Transmission. No, I don't need these things. I'm sorry. In fact, I might even break... Okay, I'm not going to break the research agreement because I don't want to piss them off, but... If I, if I could, I would. We need the influence. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and uh, ruin your guys' influence by getting more and more trees with each other. Let's see. Yeah, we're minus 0 0.62. They're probably minus even more than that. Um, let's see. What, who, who are we going to have here? I guess we'll have this guy. Sure. Eyes of Lavender. Science is the mirror of the divine. True, true. Okay, we definitely need to claim this system. This is going to be a very big boost for us. Continental 18 size world. That's the biggest world we've seen so far. Isn't system it? Survey no, complete. no. It's, it's tied. Tide is the biggest world. Let's also immediately grab another construction ship as well. So we have two construction ships. One probably claiming the systems and then one... <clears throat> one, uh... Oh, we need more alloys one building the mining stations yes we'll let we'll let our allies have this direction and this direction I think even though we're giving up two worlds there we're getting two pretty much equivalent size worlds in the process of course 
here's the big thing about all of this is that we need let's go expansion right expansion star base influence cost it would be good early on but i'm not sure expansion is really i guess max districts non artificial planets yeah that'll be good Council yeah we'll do we'll do expansion available. Um, the thing is, we are going to be using Liberation Wars as we are Crusaders, and we can't really conquer anything, unfortunately. We can't just make claims on whoever we want as complete. Liberators. Uh, we found... Pre precursors, Situation that's fine. Log updated. Habitable Worlds, we'll do that. No reason not to. Situation log updated. Oh, and we have the Cybrex. Amazing. That'll help our... <laughs> that'll help our war movement. Let's get these mining stations down. 12. 12 minerals. That's really good. So, unfortunately, we've lost this to our ally, which <laughs> makes me unreasonably upset, but that's that's fine, I guess. We'll, we'll have to deal with it. Which ally was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, this one, these guys. So, we're going to also try to steal this from them hopefully in retaliation and we did we did actually get these two systems and we're about to finish this star base as well here construction yeah we complete. just finished that as well so it's not like we're uh you know screwed or anything but man that makes me <laughs> it makes me upset that they they have all of these planets that i was leaving them to like this one these two this one and uh instead they decide they decide to claim this, which, uh, that's great, thanks. You know what? I'm breaking my research agreement with you. I don't even care. I need more, uh, I need more influence anyway. Apparently we're in an arms race for a planet in my borders. But luckily I got this system with the two planets, and luckily, luckily I also found this tropical world. So, hopefully I can steal this world or these two or something back from them, but... Yeah, we also have a colony ship building to get this world. This is the nicest, nicest little boon we have for our empire here. A jump away and 18 size. Not many, you know, resources on the world, but we can just make that a, yeah, we can, we can just make that a industrial world or something. It's not an issue. Plenty of resources on our home world. We might even move our capital to this world eventually, possibly, with, if we just keep making this industrial. I'm not sure. Incoming transmission. I don't know. That's way down the line, though, so... <laughs> no, buddy, no. We're not having a research agreement after the stunt you pulled. The members of the Sacrosanct Covenant, I guess that's our name. Might change that in the future, but, uh... Are united around their spirituality. We found common ground in the fact that we are believers, but the Federation is home to various creeds, faiths, churches, and cohabitation is sometimes uneasy. Alright. Our first Inquisition inside... The thing I would very much like to inquisit this planet, but uh, you know, I'll leave, I'll leave it alone for now. We're setting up to uh, take this planet, but we still need 33 more influence, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, these guys don't take this; otherwise, they they will well and truly have won this uh, expansionist battle here. But anyway, um, they want to try to make a unified dogma and define the core tenets of our beliefs. This idea was approved, and every member. Uh, has been asked to send representatives. Okay, let's do it. I'm down for Anomaly it. Found. If there's anything we like here, we like doing here Anomaly as the found. rot is unifying our beliefs <laughs> and spreading, spreading our beliefs, getting Anomaly rid of our differences. Found. Of course, we usually do that in more violent ways, but I guess this will have to do. Okay, heated debate. The question, is there a unique multi-faced god or many, is a delicate one, and many sensitivities are hurt in the discussion surrounding it. In particular, a delegation was most headstrong, huh, that makes sense, and has been recorded insulting other high-ranking <laughs> prelates, okay, from other empires. They have requested an official apology from us. Uh, no, no, dimwits, we stand by what we said. Sorry, but, uh, that's just how it is. Dangerous liations. The day's crucial debate is, is private faith the root of heresy? <laughs> um, it was suddenly dragging along two members of different delegations. They were caught professing their undying love for each other despite the differences. The more conservative envoys viewed this behavior as disrespectful and borderline heretical, violating the sanctity of the Holy Congress. Um, 
Oh, <coughs> oh my god, and mine is 100. <coughs> no, no, we're not getting rid of 100 influence. They are a disgrace. And that, that more in line, that's, that's more in line with what we probably feel like anyway. Heretics, all of them. Absolute heresy. Tentative success. Wait, really? <laughs> it was a success? <laughs> Overall, the council was productive. Not everything went smoothly. Uh, actually, nothing went smoothly, but uh, alright. Uh, difficulties were to be expected. This is only the first step towards uh, unifying our people and our face. The road will be long, but what expects us at the end? What we expect is... Wait. What expects us at the end will be make it worthwhile. That's a weird way to word that sentence, but yeah. Plus... For plus ten percent unity and plus three monthly federation XP. Yes. Um I changed well, I voted to change centralization to low. I should probably also change this to forty years, considering you know, we're in charge right now. So I mean yeah. <laughs> oh, we can also change the challenge. Oh, they won't do it though. Why won't they do it? Co cohesion base. Man, why won't they do it? I want challenge. Our cohesion is perfect, so what, what are we, we're going to have to bribe them to do challenge? Why don't they want to do challenge? Are they not confident? Oh, man. I feel like majority vote is, is probably good for both of these things as well. But man... Why no challenge? Strongest. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be for ch strongest we either. Random. A new world. Rotation. <sighs> anyway, we made our second planet. I. I'm at least. Very. Very much leaning towards industrial world there. Oh, can we can we make this yet? Oh, we can. Okay, so we are going to be sniping this system, which is better than this system seems like. Both the world sizes were the same in 12 and 18, which seems really, really good. Okay, it looks like these guys are completed. take those that system there. That's fine. Um, where do we even want to send this guy? Probably over here. And then tell him the survey systems automatically. Let's do champion of the people. We just got our faction. I normally say factions, but we only spawned with one this time. Recon path Which completed. I have Anomaly never, found. I've never seen before. <laughs> well, you're only starting with one faction, all spiritualist, which makes a lot of sense for our empire, actually, <laughs> considering our history. We may like war, but in the end, we're all spiritualists. Oh, never mind. Forget everything I said. Well, it seems like our first aliens we're gonna have contact with are well, besides, besides the free warriors. Hi. Yeah, that's great. But, uh, yeah, it seems like they're going to be a machine intelligence and a hostile one at that. Um, a fully robot autonomous robotic civilization led by a single formidable AI. Yeah. We have no signs of their creators. Terrifying. We must figure out how to dismantle Permanent them. Permanent communications have been established of course. with an alien um, empire. Blasphemers will burn, Xeno heretic. Blasphemer blasphemers will burn. Let's see them. Okay, here they are. I don't want to improve relations. I want to build a spy network. I also immediately want to close my borders. I can't declare rivalry just <clears throat> just yet, unfortunately. Yeah, let's let's spy on them. Also, um, who am I improving relations? I think I'm improving relations with these guys. So let me also improve relations with these guys. I have the tradition where, yeah, diplomats. Improving relations gives us 1% chance at a favor, and eventually we'll have enough favors, I assume, to, uh, to get these guys to actually do challenge so we can reliably take control of the Federation. We're also not in control of the Federation anymore, unfortunately. These guys, the stupid crab people have taken it, so, um, yeah, that's how it is. We're gonna have to destroy these robots, of course. This is... <laughs> they are they are very much deserving of an Inquisition. I just need to know a little bit more about them. I don't I don't want to uh, go and attack an advanced start, even as a Federation. I mean, let's see. Would we even... Manage claims? Okay, I can't claim them. 
Uh, oh wait, I don't have a war goal against them. Wait, we do not have an ideology. I guess we're gonna have to wait to destroy them, or wait for our, one of our allies to uh, start claiming them. I guess we can't just. Uh, guess we can't just liberate robots who just can't be liberated. I mean, I guess that makes sense. How would we liberate them? Anomaly found. The only the only real option is just destroying them, and we don't have a uh, cause ally for that, unfortunately. We have found the scrappers. I haven't established contact with them, but soon enough. But more importantly, more importantly, we have found. Pretty sure this is mammalian, a mammalian science ship. So it's looking like we're going to have to uh, move this way. Oh, we have found more aliens. Apparently, where are they? Okay, over here, our allies found them. Interesting. What? Uh, what type? What type? That's Anthropod, I'm pretty sure. So, Anthropod aliens. Also, it seems like we can claim these guys. It just just takes a lot of influence. So, that is uh, going to be way down the line, though, as we need to take the systems we currently can and uh, deal with that for now. But it seems like, yeah, we're going to have to be expanding System towards this way completed. to make sure we actually get these systems. Okay, the Mammalians Science Division went back to wherever they came from. Which is good. It's looking like we're also probably going to have to go down Void Dwellers as... I mean, look. One, two, three minerals. More minerals. More generator stations. And not many planets. I mean, we have a few. Um, the reason I haven't colonized this one, I just have a colony ship above it, is because I want to figure out this... This, uh... Wait, can you even colonize it when it has a thing? Oh, you can. Okay. I didn't think you used to be able to... Maybe it's just anomalies and stuff. Well, anyway, I want to fish, finish this first anyway, and then I'll then I'll settle it, just to make sure nothing nothing unfortunate happens to our citizens there. But uh, yeah, so we have these two planets, this planet, and then we have this planet on the way. I guess that's not that's not a little amount of planets. We also have this one. So I can't say we're running too low on planets, but I'm thinking we're gonna go tall this time, just because. Well, two reasons. One because we can't actually claim anyone and two it just we, we can go tall because we have spiritualists and we have this federation that increases our yeah planetary ascension effects so I'm feeling like after I claim the or not claim after well, I guess claim after I take these systems after I construct all the bases that I can here oh, one more all right hopefully we can get to here and find out whoever th the the other aliens are. I guess we can we can probably we can probably stop looking into the scrappers because that's not really as important as finding out whoever these guys are. I need to figure out who they are so I can close borders to them and maybe cut them off here. Because as long as I have this, which I assume this is cut off here, as long as I have this and this and this and this and maybe even this in the future. I feel like that's more than enough space for our empire to to grow and to eventually liberate the rest of the galaxy. Might be wishful thinking, but I think oh yeah, this this is a medium galaxy it seems like. Yeah, no, th this is plenty of space. We have found a Dyson sphere in this system no less. So what are they? The Iowa aliens or okay, the Samek Samek aliens. Either way, we uh, we are definitely in an arms race against them, even if they don't know it. Oh no. Oh no, that is a construction ship. An arms race that we are losing, unfortunately. I don't even have enough influence to claim this system. Man, they're getting this free dice Permanent sphere. No. Have been established with an Association with scrappers. Yeah, hello. Um, Corvette squadron, I mean... Alright. I, do we really need that? I don't know. I mean, we might as well. There's no point in not having a free Corvette squad squadron. Um, yeah, ruined Dyson Sphere. We're not going to have it. They're building it. That is a construction ship. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Just a little bit late. Uh, again. First we lose this system, and then... Yeah, I mean, we gain this system, which is actually really, really good. I mean, 23 minerals. This is like almost a home system in itself, like 
This might have more resources than my home system. Let's see, 1323 versus, yeah, 1450. And this actually has more resources than our ho home system. Well, about the same, I guess. Much more minerals, but slightly less. Actually, more science as well, just only one less energy. So yeah, definitely, definitely more. Losing that Dyson Sphere does hurt, though. I mean, we can always build our own, but... Recon pass completed. Oh, no. Are they trying to... They're trying to snipe this system as well. Well, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. I almost feel like going on a first contact war with these guys. It's just to system blow their construction ship completed. out of the sky. Let's let's see. Where, where even are they? I don't, I don't even know. They're not... Okay, so they're in this system, but it's not their planet. Okay, here we go. More aliens to research. I guess they're up here? I don't know. I guess it's not even worth looking anymore. Probably gonna have to immediately close my borders to these people. Hopefully these guys can figure out them quick enough. Oh no. Are they gonna... Science division reports they might success. actually, like, back cap me here. Which would be very, very unfortunate. Where is their science ship? Or a construction ship? I'm, I'm very concerned. <laughs> I do not want them having this system or this system or any other systems inside my borders. Like, like we already have this. This is just border gore federation and it'll be even more border gore federation once we finally go to war with these guys, I assume. All right, so we found out that they are the Sathan Concordat? Okay. Spiritual Seekers. Oh, I like their background. Hmm. Um, greetings from Revered Elder... Oh! They're Spiritual Seekers. That's really good, actually. They could immediately join our Federation. Well, not immediately, but... Oh. They're down here. I thought we found out these guys. Ships refitted. Now we still need to find them out. I have claimed these two systems. So... If they did want to make the jump over and grab one of these systems, they would have to make two jumps over. Which, it looks like they're not... Wait. No, oh, that's a science ship, not a construction ship. Looks like they're not, uh... They're not counting out as a possibility here, considering... They're already kind of doing this. Okay. Science division reports oh! A new hello. Uh, what do you... Oh. You want to raid us? No, you can have our food. That's fine. Yeah, I'm smart. It's not worth, it's not worth killing you for the food. Uh, we can't kill them anyway, let's be honest. Yeah, we can't. I'm just talking a lot of talk. Okay, so we're receiving a transmission from the Benevolent Kingdom of House Voxon. Alright, you might recognize these guys. I speak on ha on the behalf of the Benevolent Kingdom of House Voxon and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Queen Valeris Voxon, is very pleased to make contact with your unique species. And we look forward to exchanging culture and ideas. Our warriors salute you. Hopefully we can be friends. I don't see why not. They're wary of us, which is fine. Oh, now they're cordial, just because we greeted them kindly. Um, in fact, they would already take association status if we just got a little, uh, got a little friendlier with them. Oh, they found us out, I guess. Because our first contact was aborted. Interesting. Um, these guys would also take association status. We just need to... Yeah. Commanding a spy network. How effective is this? So the max we can get is 30. Okay, fine. Never mind. We don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. We need people in our federation. These guys are... Anomaly yeah, fanatic found. spiritualists. They'll be perfect for our federation. Science division reports Let's see. I want to I wanna trade communications mm -hmm. with these guys. I wonder if they'll do it. I mean, they're they're friendly. Okay, it's gonna cost us, which is fine. Would you take minerals? Oh, you would take not too many minerals. There we go, two hundred. Sure, enjoy them. Desiccation League, or des Destican League. Okay, also spiritualist. Awesome, another spiritualist. Holy hell! Well, it looks like I'm not gonna be having to do many. <laughs> <laughs> made liberation wars, apparently. Oh, someone declared rivalry. Okay, awesome. Yeah, robots. Uh, I'm sorry, robots, but you spawned in the wrong galaxy. 
nearly half of these people are like spiritualists, so yeah. Here we are. Yeah, it looks like it looks like we're gonna Construction we're gonna have this side of the galaxy under our control here. I mean, we might have to strong arm them a little bit in case they don't like us. Now they're all receptive. I don't I don't think there's a yeah, cordial. If I could just get these guys trust up, then then yeah, everything they they probably all join, which is amazing. So. Yeah, we'll have this side of the galaxy under our control, and maybe we'll just need to crusade these guys. And, of course, these dirty robots. You see, this... This is why... <laughs> I did not... Did not colonize. These these guys would have definitely taken me out here. 300... 300, uh... Army power here. So I guess we'll just do... I don't know, a few of these guys, and... Get our ships to come over and bombard these... We can do it. Yeah, we can do indiscriminate bombardment. Um, okay, we, we're already at our max amount of commanders, so that's fine. Leave B for now. And resilience. Okay, so we, one army is only 25. Okay, well, we're probably... Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to burn, burn this planet to the ground and then invade once they're at zero. I assume they're not going to surrender even if they go to zero because this is technically a machine intelligence even though I can't really can't really tell complete. um are we System are we bombing this? Completed. we're not can you please bomb this? Completed. okay um apparently they don't want to bomb this so uh actually we, we are just going to build a whole bunch of armies then where were we building them? where where were we? Where? Oh, we already built. Okay. Yeah, whole a bunch of armies then. It seems like someone has beaten us to the punch. These guys, who are another spiritualist little friends. Actually, they're already an associate of our federation. I assume they would join. Pro secret fealty. Wait. They're a subsidiary? Under these guys, who are not in our federation yet, but as soon as I can get up to 20 trust, I will offer them s association status, which is uh, good. We have, let's see, let's see. We have um, build relations. I don't think I've ever done this before, ever. So, yeah, but we're going to have plus 25% uh, trust growth immediately, and then plus 100% trust growth afterwards. So, yeah, first time ever I've ever done build relations, but it makes so much sense as... Almost every empire we have found here in the uh, <laughs> in this side of the galaxy have all been spiritualists who all have an embassy with me and who all need association status eventually. But yeah, moral of the story: they beat us to the punch. Maybe we won't get any we won't get any of these machines, worlds, this playthrough. I doubt they're going to take over the whole thing. What what is even the war? Um. Annexation attempt. Oh, so... That that means... Wait, annexation attempt... Is that a conquering war or is that a vassalization war? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Looks like we finally have one of the Federation members inviting another person to our Federation. I think it's these guys, right? Yeah, these guys are like our best friend. They've already... Uh, offered me a bunch of things but the only thing I've accepted was a research agreement we don't need a migration treaty just yet okay they wouldn't accept us inviting them but uh they would accept empire. the other guys inviting them okay these guys military xenophiles they're they would work and then we have the chef golden church who are spiritualists but also pacifists so maybe you hacked us uh we did not hack you Skywatch and then the artisan troop lifeline. which we will uh we will purchase their services. Yeah. Here we go. So, complete. that is the first new member of our Federation. First of many, I hope. Peacefully joining our Federation. Yeah, these guys... Well, these guys definitely don't want to join for some reason. Oh, well, they're pacifists anyway. I, I don't know if... I don't know if we're going to invite pacifists to the Federation. I mean, eventually we'll get to a point where it won't matter. And I'll just... 
have the strongest person lead the Federation and then have it so that the president decides. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Oh, now I have to bribe more people, actually. Yeah, I have to bribe more people. Okay, I need to set up these guys with an improved relations. Who who are we currently? Oh, they're already getting relations improved. Okay, so we already probably have favors on them. Yeah, we need we need favors on everyone who is in our federation here. Okay, one more favor on each of these guys, and I think I'll definitely be able to get diplomatic vote weight. But then again, it's more important that we have this done. But that requires more favors. Why? Why is? Oh, because the federation the federation Inbound cohesion is Inbound message is, uh, is not as great right now. Okay, we'll, we'll be fine. Um, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Propulsion's good. And then we have this. I think if we finish this tree, we'll have more envoys. Okay, yeah, we need more envoys. So we're just going to finish this up. And then... Not exactly sure what we want here. Lord of War. I guess it's not too important that we pick it out right now. Leader gain experience might be nice, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go back to that later and once we've thought more about it. So we have the Rubricator event, and I think this time, yes, we must have the Rubricator. Where is the Rubricator? Construction complete. Oh, this is this is a perfect spot for the Rubricator. Oh yes. Okay, whatever you're doing. Oh wait, you're already in the middle of researching something that can't be undone. What about you? Excavating, okay, site, yeah, no, definitely go do this and then go back to whatever you were doing, sure. But first and foremost, let's do this. This is a perfect site, and then 23 tile world, which is a relic world, it'll be perfect for us. So that's good. We're also colonizing this world. I did make a migration treaty with, with these guys, just because mainly, like, I know these guys since they're life seated are not going to be moving too much into our empire it would be very very uh, poor habitability on all of our planets for them except maybe this one i guess but yeah i haven't i haven't seen any change in our demographics but there will be because i'm using one of their pops not not their pops but one of the pops that they have invited onto their worlds with a different migration treaty to go colonize yeah to go d d no no, not this one. Um, where's the colony ship? Is the colony ship not built yet? Ah, the colony ship is being built now, yes. It's going to be of the Jib Jibru. Not exactly where the Jibru started. Desiccation league? Desiccate? No. Jibru? Oh, here. Jibru administration. It seems like these guys may have been... Um, May have been a pre-FDL start? I, I don't know. Ready. I'm not sure. Because they only have one planet, it looks like. And they're very small. They have a defensive pact with a benevolent kingdom. Interesting. Hmm. Then we also have these guys. Who are these guys again? Oh, they're just the regular honor-bound warriors. Okay. Uh, the... I'm trying to get these guys into our federation and stuff. Okay. It looks like they're more friendly now. They used to be at negative 2,000. Now they're only at negative 1,000. Which is which is workable. They used to hate two of our federation members, but the association status has really, really helped. What about these guys? They're close. In fact, if I got some favors on them, they would join. And they also have... Yeah, they also have these guys under them, which are, which are great. So, these guys, in their war, they took one robot system. That's all. Not not with a planet or anything. So, looks like these guys are definitely still up for the taking. But speaking of our borders, these are probably going to be our borders for a long time. Except we may claim this system and this system once we get the fleet power. But other than that, other than that, yeah, this is what it looks like our empire is going to be. Like this. So... It's a, it's, it's a decent amount of space with a decent amount of worlds. I can't complain. I can't complain. Especially with this Rubricator world 
I definitely cannot complain. And then this world as well. It's a very good generator world, but also it has special things when it comes to miners. So I might do that as well. I don't know. It's only 13 size, though. I might actually, yeah, I might switch this to a mining world considering mm, society research for miners. I mean, society research for miners is not, it's not anything too, too special, though. Yeah, w plus one? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. For now, we're making this a generator world, and we could probably fill the whole world up. Oh, they have these, these things. Interesting. Max generator districts. Max generator districts. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Dense ruins. Minus six districts. Plus. Oh, is this what is this what's making the planet so small? Maybe. I guess it's just very dense ruins. Well. You win some, you lose some. And then we have build relations, which again, I've never done before. So hopefully that allows us to, uh, yeah, I guess display of power is good. That allows us to build up our relations. Yeah, only s negative 16 at this completed. point. Negative 12 is distance. So a lot of that is opinion. Maybe I could like boost our opinion by giving them a gift, perhaps. Would you like a gift? A diplomatic grant, maybe. Okay, they're now they're only at negative five. We could we could almost bribe them. I, I have someone improving their relations already, complete. right? Yeah, I already have someone improving their relations. We just haven't gotten lucky with getting them favors. Communications established with who? Okay, fanatic authoritarian militarists. Complete. Well, they're not... They're not materialists, but uh, they're also not exactly moral, it seems. Oh, what the... What the hell happened here? Um... Oh! These are the guys we just met. What happened? Did they lose their world to a pre-FDL? Wait, they lost their colony as well, didn't they? They got enslaved! Wait! Oh my god, they just got enslaved! Why would you allow them to have this world? And just allow yourselves to get enslaved? Like, I know... Like, okay, yeah, you're, you're like a xenophile, friendly, cooperative and everything, but like... You're so... You're so... Xenophile and so friendly that you're gonna allow yourselves to get enslaved? I see this is why I can't get on board with xenophile empires, bro. Look at like, look at look at this nonsense. They just got kicked out of all their positions of power and got enslaved just because like saying no would have been not very nice. Oh, they also got these poor people enslaved. Whoever whoever these poor people are and signed a migration treaty with these xenophiles, well, I guess you can see what happens. Oh my goodness. We have found our first target. Materialist militarists. You will be a good challenge. Where are they, in fact? Okay, so they're under here. Impose ideology. They have a defensive pack, too, so... Looking like uh, this playthrough won't be exactly all peaceful. Which is good. I didn't... I mean, these guys are crusaders at heart. They're probably itching for a for a war at this point. Only negative three. If only we could get a favor. Um, you are the Lord Commander, so I guess I'll make you a strategist. Construction complete. Yeah, our little uh, our little rot are probably itching for a war at this point. Oh, invite to Federation. Which um which empire? Oh, these guys? Yes. Yes, let's get them in here. Oh, and, and they just went more spiritualist. Amazing. Oh, wait, they're pacifists, though. They're pacifists. Oh. Hold on, we need to... I guess we should make, um... Okay, war, war declaration is already majority vote, which is good. Challenge... Yeah. Complete. Hopefully, 
Oh, I guess I need to start Still getting favors from these guys as well. Do I already have someone improving relationships with these guys? No. I guess these guys who are improving with the Voxon can get over here and try to extort favors from these guys. I'm trying to get favors from these guys, but it's just not working. It looks like it's not going to matter anyway. Science division report A galactic success. community, of course, is a worthy endeavor. Construction complete. Can we please... Oh, destroyers. Okay, we need that. I've been hesitating building new ships because of destroyers, so we're kind of getting outpaced here. Wait, votes no? Why does everyone vote no? Oh, because of cohesion? Is it because of, like we're low cohesion? No, we, we fixed our cohesion. Why would everyone vote no? Science division report success. Manufacturing votes no. Commonwealth votes no. Why do they all vote no? Are these guys like scavengers, pleasure seekers? I don't know why they'd have such a problem with them. Oh. Well, it's looking like they're not going to join anyway. These guys would vote no. Why? Why is everyone voting no? I don't understand. I don't get it. Walker cleared. All right. So we have found the Red Legion and a lot of other people. A lot of other people. Let's see. Oh no, that is our federation. That is not what I'm looking at. Yeah, a bunch of a hegemony, imperium. Okay, fanatic authoritarians. Interesting. Closing the loop. Also interesting. United hegemony. A lot of authoritarian militarists in this galaxy. Like, a lot, a lot. I guess we'll be friends with them. I mean, they're not material. Oh, there we go. A nice little uh, direct democracy. No, thank you. We are not going to be friends. Not even a little bit. Oh, they're big. Oh, they have the biggest nameplate, it seems. Construction More have joined complete. the galactic community, it looks like. Field engineers Although, even though more have joined the galactic community, I'm not seeing too many people in this space over here. Inbound message traffic. I guess it is possible Inbound that... Message traffic. No, I do not want a migration treaty with rocks. Because the rocks can just inhabit everywhere and they breed so slow. Um, migration treaty with these guys. Mm, no. And a commercial pact. Also no. Also no. I guess we'll research um, plasma throwers. No, we'll, we'll do shields. So yeah, I don't see many people, many Inbound empires in traffic. here, and I guess they would be in the galactic community if they existed. Oh, comfort the fallen. Yes, complete. of course, of course. Um, someone can be a governor and go to the community, right? Pretty sure. Right? Oh no, they can't. Oh, but we can hire another official anyway. Okay, well, welcome aboard, Beak of, Beak of Aqua Marine. Welcome aboard. The best leaders are those who understand the power of spirit. Too true. Too true. Is everyone still... Okay, so I, I can invite them, but everyone would vote no. Why? Can I see why they would vote no? I don't understand. Inbound message traffic. I could I could get these guys to join, but everyone would vote no. I don't understand. The benevolent kingdom of House Voxon wants to be our vassal. Um just vassal. So integration prohibited. Expansion regulated. Not really not really something we care about. Holdings one. Defensive wars, of course, and restricted voting. Okay. I mean, I see nothing wrong with doing that. So, it's a very weird Slither, Slither Empire. Oh, they have soul here. Okay. Human civilization, feudal realms. Interesting. Cool, cool. Alright, so we have... Yeah, we have these guys as our vassal now. New Battle Sitra. debris, Cybrex... Disloyal for some reason. Oh, their loyalty is actually going down. And we can't change anything. They, they've kind of set themselves up to be disloyal, which is unfortunate. Um, let's just give them an aid agency. Or in fact, maybe we actually. Okay. What, what do you What do you want? 
Sure, we'll, we'll donate. Just because we like ya. Um, what, what the hell is happening here? Their capital is being attacked by amoebas. Interesting. But instead of the aid agency, in fact, I, I'll probably go for the garrison as it gives us more unity. We just need to get three of our soldiers. We have plenty of soldiers left over from taking out that care unit, so... Yeah, let's go. Let's go land armies on Inbound there. Message traffic. Uh, why is the scientist doing nothing? Please do literally anything. Thank you. It says that these guys would not support them joining the Federation, but everything else suggests that they would. I mean, if I see the AI opinion map mode... Yeah, they're all very, very friendly. And they have a, l a bunch of trust as well. So maybe it's just displaying something wrong? I, I don't know. I'm going to invite them anyway. And see if they actually vote no on it. They actually did vote no on it. Why? <laughs> I don't... I don't, I don't get it. Like, I messed up our cohesion a little bit, but I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, they're friends. They have a bunch of trust. And it's not like they're, it's not like their ethics are, are the exact opposite. I mean, they're egalitarian. Yeah, you're also egalitarians, and we invited you. So I just, I don't get it. But, uh, I mean, at least these guys are, kind of in the Federation. The the Shep are also in our Federation, technically. I mean, they're not in our Federation, but they are a vassal of a member. So our block is certainly getting bigger. I just wish... I just wish our block could extend to here and here. I mean, then we'd have this whole section of the galaxy done and dusted with, except these guys, which... You know, obviously. We have been in this playthrough too long to not have a Liberation War. So... I think I'm just gonna do it to these guys. They have really no allies, and of course the only thing they're really doing is sitting there and, and enslaving the people that set them free in the first place, so... Oh, it looks like they're indentured servants, if they're working research or jobs. I guess we already knew that from our previous scouting, but yeah, let's let's do it. Hopefully, hopefully our Federation friends are... Okay, operations. they are in. Weapons free. Repeat, Amazing. Free. Wonder, did everyone vote yes on it? Seems like even the pacifists voted yes on this, so... Good, good. Maybe I can even... I don't know. Fleet action underway. Maybe potentially vassalize them after this is done? I don't really know. 270... Oh, so okay, we could immediately just invade this planet. Pretty sure we can immediately invade this planet too. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll bomb this planet a little bit while they're being invaded. Of course we're gonna allow Ground surrender. That is the whole target. point. Um oh wow, we almost ran out of stuff. Almost ran out of money. Um I guess we can sell crystals. We don't really need them. Let's do that. And this. Ground objective secured. All right, that is secured, and let's see. We would we could win that, but it'll probably be best for everybody. Okay, they Science took division. a planet a new and a system here. Let's see. Start digging. No, probe for more. Let's see. Okay, um, which planet did they take from these guys? I've also made some claims on these guys, so we can even make more, but. Yeah, I think we're probably going to go to war with these guys next. We have been pacifists for too long. Ooh, and the next level of our federation has just... Okay. Yeah, let's immediately do that. For sure. Okay. Um, Ship fire rate. Seems good. Seems good. Still don't know exactly what we're going to do for our ascension perk. Inbound message um, traffic. Let's see. Okay, the Federation didn't pass yet. I guess I'll do a migration treaty. Why not? Yeah, let's let's do more. And we have won. Inbound message traffic, which is great. I think we will, in fact, go to war with these with these robots. 
I'm pretty sure most of the Federation will will uh will be on side. Hopefully, at least. What what are the okay, they're at pathetic. Seems like their war did not go well for them against the vassals over there. Offer migration treaty, sure. These vassals here. Can't let them have all of the Inbound worlds though. Message traffic. Um, no. That was a terrible deal. Oh! Nice. Which world was even this? I don't even know. Long Spirit. Oh! Wow, we were going to turn this into a industrial world, but, um... <sighs> when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Don't make an industrial world. I guess, I mean, we don't really need mining things. It's the only thing we're actually positive on. Yeah, I guess we don't really... Don't we really... Hmm. This relic world is... Questionable. Industrial sector. Ooh, that's really good. Hmm. That's the thing. I guess we... I don't... Well, this is a 23 tile relic world. We could turn this in back into an ecumenopolis. Yeah, restore ecumenopolis before even having the perk, but we're probably going to get the Ascension perk for Ecumenopolis anyway. That's the thing. Hmm. Which world do we want to turn into our industrial world then? I don't know. Definitely not that world. We want this to be a generator world as well. Yeah, definitely want this to be in a generator world, so maybe we will turn this relic back into an Ecumenopolis. I guess we will. But anyway. These guys. Conquer, claim, make tributary. President decides war declaration. Uh, Do we want that? No, because we... Because we're not the president. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, no. We don't want that. Not yet. I mean, we want that eventually. Um, the kaleidoscope. Did it pass? Wait, did it pass? Wait. It passed. So wait, I can't declare... I can't declare war. You must be... Fa wow, okay. Well, that kind of dampened my plans here. Oh, I can propose subjugation to them. Wait, they won't do it though? Why not? Recently liberated. Ah, yes, yes. Um, we can invite them to the Federation. Would would the rest of them allow them to join? They would be allowed to join. I mean, hmm. Let's just offer them association status. So yeah, I guess we can't go to war now. Um. <laughs> All right. Guys, uh, time to return home. Yeah, this is very unfortunate. We're gonna have to... Oh, that's the wrong thing. We're gonna have to strong arm the Federation into going strongest. And then we're gonna have to strong arm our way into strongest as well. Yeah, because currently we are not the strongest. In fact, we're third. What? Economy. Yeah, we need to improve our economy. Well, it looks like uh, our crusades will be later on in the game. I mean, we don't even have cruisers yet. Actually, we just researched cruisers, so... I guess there's no rush. Although, our people are obviously itching for war. It's the year 2279, and I can't seem to overtake these guys and their economy. I think... I mean, they must have been a... A uh, advanced start. They have prosperous unification, which I mean, I think advanced starts need to be prosperous unification or something like that. Maybe I'm just wrong, but I think these guys are advanced start, but it doesn't matter. I mean, they're superior to me in every way, unfortunately. <laughs> Technology, economy, and even fleet power at this point. They didn't used to be, but they are. And they're the only people more powerful than me in the galactic community, but of course... They're in our federation, unfortunately, <laughs> which, even if we could set the thing the strongest, which, if they weren't in the federation, we could. We could we could bribe the rest of the members, except these guys, but 
It would pass. It would pass. I can't bribe these guys, and even if I did bribe those guys, yeah, economy. They're just they're just beating us. I mean, we've overtaken these guys, but I just can't seem to overtake this. I, I don't know, pacifist spiritualist empire. Oh. Exalted priesthood, ascension. They even have a third civic slot. <laughs> How have they done all this? New I don't secret. know. I mean, my worlds aren't like terrible. I mean, we need more pops, but a new breakthrough. I mean, we have a pretty standard world setup here. We have uh, this world, this world. This world has a lot of scientists, and it could use more technicians. But even then, we're, we're still getting we're still getting our butt kicked in science as well. So it's just like I I don't I don't really know. I mean, it, we're doing pretty good when it comes to alloys, but that's about it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with our empire. I guess we're doing good with trade now, or with energy credits, but a lot of that is actually Skywatch has subject taxes and um, science division and the new breakthrough. Uh, commercial packs we have. So, yeah, I just Tracking don't know. I really don't form. know what we're doing wrong here, unfortunately. <laughs> this will boost our economy, though, I assume. These, well, what's it called? Yeah, ancient refineries. But even then, like, we're not even going to have people to work those jobs. So, will it boost our economy? Maybe not, unfortunately. Actually, yeah, ancient refinery would go great on that Skywatch world. Has sighted a space Let's not do it on farm. this world. We still need farmers. We're, we're only plus 11 in food, and that's only recently, so, yeah. We did get the system, though, which is nice. That's really about it. I mean... We're, we're strong. Like, again, we're the second strongest in the galaxy. It's just these guys are just so, Science division so far ahead, and I, I just don't, I don't know why. They have 13 planets. How many planets do we have? I don't know. Nine? We have nine planets. But our planets are, are pretty specialized, so I don't know. I mean, let's, let's see. What are, what are these planets like? Okay, that's a habitat, so that's not really a very good planet. This is not a very good planet at all. And this is a terrible planet, so what? I don't... How are they beating us so so handedly? I already have habitats, though. That's pretty crazy. I... This planet? Oh, this planet's good. This planet is uh, very decent. Oh, wow, they even have <laughs> alloy nanoplants and some... Wait, do do all of the other empires have that? Or is it just... I mean, is it just me that's behind? I don't... I, I, can't, I don't know. I mean... No, these guys don't even have... Yeah, no, these guys are... are in a bad way, it seems like. What about these guys? Alloy Mega Forges. Yeah, well, why don't we have Alloy Mega Forges? Are these guys ahead of us in tech too? No, they're equivalent. Inferior economy. Only four planets though. Only four planets and they're equivalent. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I really don't, I really don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The Great Khan is here, and luckily, they are very far away. Let's see, what is this? Fanatic, militarist, egalitarian empire. Interesting. They're associated with us. I don't even know who these guys are. Hmm. Inbound okay. message traffic. Um, civilian re er, civilian fabricators would be very nice. 73, 73 energy would be very nice as well. Mm. Science yes, division yes. reports the new Oh, uh, this guy is doing absolutely nothing, so let's get him doing something. And then clearing blockers would be nice. Let's do that. Our edicts are decent. We took away diplomatic grants and put on mining subsidies. We're still only barely in mineral barely positive in minerals. And only barely positive in consumer goods too. I mean we have a decent production of alloys, but not as much as you'd expect having mining subsidies and several mineral mineral worlds and also like very very low minerals like we're turning all of our minerals into consumer goods and alloys and we just not not getting too much our stability is only 69 uh it's not good i mean they're just they're happy but they're just not that happy very high faction approval. Yeah, I can't really do much more when it comes to factions. Xeno struggle. First strike legion. Um. 
representative on the council. Yeah. Oppressive subjugation policy. You want an oppressive subjugation policy? Oh, we have an oppressive subjugation policy. Oh. Uh, but if I... <laughs> okay, no purges. Okay, okay, they don't want purges. I had to make the rest of the alien citizens because when, when we didn't have the rest of the alien citizens... Uh, when we had them just as residents, <laughs> our stability was even lower on all of those planets, so... Yeah, now we have a terrible faction, which also makes people unhappy. Um... Indirect Xenology. Okay, we can we can do no purges in Indirect Xenology. Xen... Xen... Xenology? I don't know. Let's do that. No purges. Where's purge? Okay, no purge. And... Pre-FDL Enlightenment Prohibited, um, non-interference. Sure. Does that make you happy? Does that improve our stability? Does that improve our economy? Can can we overtake these guys now? No. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they're, Construction complete. they're like full steam ahead. What the hell? 3,000? 3,500? Almost? Oh my god, how? I don't understand. I mean... It, oh, cooperative too. Look at these guys. They're just mogging me. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. Ascensionists. I mean, is that their secret? Do they? Are they ascending their stuff? I. I don't know. I just. I don't. I don't know. Let's see. Economy. Four hundred and fourteen versus economy seven hundred nineteen. Or no, wait, 513. Wait, buzzword standardization, collective waste management. It's not that much. Oh, wait, oh yeah, my economy is 296. Oh. Man. Science division Man. reports a new breakthrough. So it seems like these guys want to invite these little guys that we liberated to the Federation, which I absolutely do not want. Um, in fact, I want to subjugate them. And they're finally done with their whole, oh, we just got li recently liberated nonsense, which is good. So, yeah, I think we're just going to subjugate them before they can invite them to the Federation. I think this is about good. This is about what we want. Protectorate, two, defensive. Yeah, seems good. Let's do that. It doesn't look like they were going to be able Ships to join refitted. anyway, especially if we said no. Oh, these guys said yes, though, and they have pretty high diplomatic weight. Ah, yes, I subjugated them before they could get invited to the Federation. I wonder if they... I guess they'll never know what actually happened. We kind of stopped them from being equals to PR Vassal. But, uh... Hey, you know, why not? I think I'll also do a satellite... Satellite campus, and then... Let's get three more of our guys here go sit on their planet. Excellent. How much are they providing us when it comes to our little deal here? 48, 8, and 16. Better than nothing. And better than them joining the Federation. Looks like we might be inviting this little block to our Federation. I'm down for it, of course. Permanent communication okay, here we are. An oh, and we have the Reagan Commerce Exchange. Offer association status. Sure. We're also full up on alloys. I didn't really want to build ships until our battleship tech came through, but I guess I'll build a, some destroyers. I already have our space stations pretty much maxed out, so... Yeah, we'll just build a bunch of destroyers. At least destroyers can still be artillery as well. The Horde has seemed to take over this place here. I, I, I commented about how this... Oh. Council agenda ready. Imperium of the Neb. The Desiccation League. Oh, we're just inviting everyone now. Okay, I don't know why we're doing that, but uh, I'm down for it. For sure. Psionic supremacy. We're also psionic, so yeah, let's do that. We're starting to build our... The engineers have cleared a block. Yeah, our Psy Corps. So that'll help with our stability, I hope. I mean, we're still very behind when it comes to our economy, but we're gaining on them a little bit. We're only like 1,200 away now? 
Is that gaining on him? Am I gaining on them? I don't even know. To be honest, of course, yes, we're, we're gonna keep doing that. So, wait, the Red Legion is on our Federation? Oh, they're a Scalorium? The Red Legion is a Scalorium. Barbaric Despoiler Scalorium. Uh, okay. All right. And they apparently want, uh, they want a commercial pact with us. That would not benefit us at all. Never mind. What about a research agreement? No, that, that would only benefit them. All right. Well, no, never mind then. Yeah, so we, we seem to have this entire section of the galaxy in our Federation, which is what we wanted, is what we expected as well. Desiccation League and Imperium of the Neb. So I'm guessing the Imperium of the Neb, wherever they are, I don't, I don't even know where they are really. Where is the Imperium of the Neb? They're in our Federation. We should, we should know. Where, where is the Imperium? Did I get that right? The Imperium of the Neb. Our Federation. So let's see. Yeah, Imperium of the Neb. Okay, just a one, one planet miner. Oh, we. We invited these guys? I mean, okay. I guess. Not really gonna swing much. And then these guys... These guys are luckily in our Federation as well, so... Yeah, I think... I think we have it all here. Except these... I think I think the rest of the galaxy... Okay. Yeah, these are... Okay, wait. Bulwark under these guys. And these guys are materialists. Yes, I would love to declare war. But uh, I guess I'll do that in due time. Once we get these battleships done, I'll spend all of my alloys either increasing our fleet capa or naval capacity or increasing our fleet in general. And then we'll start the crusade. Of course, hopefully we'll also be powerful enough to take over the Federation by that point. I don't know. Can we see who's going to be the next president? I thought there was a way to do that somehow, but I guess not. These guys are currently the Federation president as well. Which, yeah. Could we even swing this? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, I, I don't even think we can swing this anymore, considering... I don't know. Once once the um, cohesion goes back up, which is hopefully soon... Wait. We don't have a person representing our interest. Oh, man. That actually takes them away from the capital. Interesting. That's not really what we want, is it? I mean, I guess, I guess I'll have this guy. The best leaders are those who understand the power of spirits. Yes, um, what does this even do? Like, I don't, I don't really know. Someone died. Matriarch. Oh, that was our, that was our leader. Um, I guess we'll chant for her soul. Complete. Who's going to win? Our head of research? It's not a bad thing. Okay, I guess we'll just get uh, this guy. And then, yeah, I guess we'll hire a new scientist as well, considering we can have four of them. Yeah, I have to hire some new leaders. Currently, our leaders are a little bit more diverse than normal. Of course, we also, we don't allow, we don't allow any aliens military service, as we want to keep, as we want to keep uh, our commanders all all actually wrought and it's for a couple reasons but mainly it's because um the rotter oh well our <laughs> the rot are not the president anymore but you know the rot these guys we haven't forgotten about them just yet they are going to be the only commanders since yeah you know, we need loyal commanders and we also need crusaders and we also need psychics as uh alien commanders may not be psychic well we still have this guy as our commander but he was he was not part of our empire. He was part of external leaders, so yeah. But anyway, more of the story. Our federation is growing and the crusade of the righteous is coming ever closer. Science division report success. Oh man, that's scary. Good thing it's attacking these materialist scum. The Great Khan's empire is starting to get <laughs> more than a little bit concerning here. Actually, very concerning. They are... Yeah, they're basically on the border of our empire here. And uh, we basically just started building up our military, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of battleships on the way. But um, whether they'll be in time or not is the question. 
Very big conet here. <laughs> these guys, I wish they would go after these these stupid guys, stupid materialists. Get what they deserve here. Yeah, materialists, so. But they're not. It looks like they're headed this way. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, they are bombing one of our Federation members into the dust here, actually. Which isn't good. Yeah. Okay, the Imperium of Deneb is, is gone, in fact. Uh, wow. They just killed one of our Federation members, so that's a little bit of an escalation. Um. Yeah. Oh, wait, they're probably going to be attacking my vassal next, too. Which isn't good. Oh, no. Wait. 16,000. 4,000. Are they headed towards... Oh, no, they kind of are, aren't they? Oh, wow, they're headed towards our vassal. No. Oh, no. Um, How much is our fleets right now? Okay, we could definitely take them, but we will take losses. I am 100% sure we will take losses. But we, we have to go for it. I mean, we can't be seen weak like this. Man, okay, these guys have a highway. We don't have... We only have a highway here in our main systems. Yeah, we... What is this? You can't even defend your... Engaging enemy okay. station. Well, I guess once we destroy that, we can... We can build a highway in our... Cannot build outside our empire or subject borders. I thought you could build it in allies' borders. Okay, well, I guess we can't. I guess we're gonna have to go for this. Um, what is the quicker way? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, well... Seems like this is the quicker way. Which should have been obvious, to be fair, but... Yeah, we're gonna do that. Make sure that we can respond to threats. Yeah, they're already in... They're already in House Box on space. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to get there. 300 days, oof. That is not gonna be in time. That is definitely not gonna be in time. Tracking space Counter in rifle. black hole. Hopefully, whatever fleets that we saw here are not also coming. Or that would be very bad. Oh, they're attacking the planet too. Can can House Voxon surrender to them even as as their like as my vassal? I hope not. Oh, oh my God, more are coming. No wonder these guys surrendered. That's a lot of fleets. So we're about to start our battle against them here. Oh, why did our fleet? What? Wait, wait. What? What is going on? Oh no, oh no, no, no. No, go back. Go back. They're here. Hopefully we take these guys just fine. What is our... our okay, all of our strategic resources are looking good. We could actually do the... Yeah, we could do this and... Probably this as well. Shield boost or fuel? I think fuel would probably be best. Alright, yeah, let's do all that, and then... Let's get the show on the road. Hopefully we'll be fine. Okay. Looks like we crushed them. We lost a Corvette and a Corvette. Oh, that's actually excellent. Okay, well let's immediately do it again. Offer association complete. status. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Mmm, okay. Okay. Great con who, am I right? We have saved our vassal. We have saved the day. Um, what do we need here? Definitely don't need Voidborn. Guess we don't need anything as of the moment. Um, sure. What did we lose here? Uh, a destroyer, another destroyer, and five corvettes. Okay, and they lost a lot. Not too many ships, but a lot of transport ships. The main thing is, is that we're winning, which is honestly, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know for certain whether we would or not. Now let's go heal first, and then we'll. I don't know. I guess we'll just keep defending these guys. It is our duty as their, as their overlord. Oh, and there's a galactic council. And of course, the frickin... I'm just gonna call them an advanced star, because I'm pretty sure they are. The advanced star got the top spot, but we are second. With the Desti... Destication League? Third? 
which are now in our Federation, thankfully. It seems like the war with the Khan has uh, pushed a lot of people into being less picky about who we invite to our Federation. I'm not sure whether I should retreat from this or not. This is the actual chosen of the Great Khan here. Yeah, and the Galleon Delightful Massacre. I don't see the Khan here. But I know that's his fleet. Underway. Okay, looks like we're not- oh! Please. Um... Oh, we are losing this, I think. Uh, let's just choose Research Institute and then... Watch this a bit slower. Yeah, we are we are we are getting shredded. It's, it is time to retreat. Ships lost two. Our commander died. No. Okay, these guys need to retreat as well. Man, ah, the great Khan themselves showed up to stop our <laughs> to stop our counterattack. Oh man, we lost our Lord Commander, which is really bad. I guess we can get a new one. Not too. Not too hard. Hmm. When are these guys going to show back up? Uh, three- oh wait! Oh, four? In a year? In more than a year? It's going to take more than a year to get our fleets back? Holy hell. I'm not even sure I want them back at this point. I think I'd rather just build the new fleet or something. In fact, I probably will build a new fleet. But um, yeah, why does it say Battleship Auto? I added our battleship, didn't I? Yeah, this is not an auto battleship. Wait, am I? No, not not that one. This one. Auto. Battleship auto. Oh no, no, I want you to build this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna build a new fleet. As soon as the fleets come back, I'm going to um. Probably for the first time ever. No, not probably. Definitely for the first time ever, I'm going to actually use the I want to scrap fleet thing. Because I, I can just scrap all of, my, all of my corvettes and destroyers and not feel too bad about it. Only thing I do feel bad for, though, is that the Chosen of the Great Khan have been summoned to my poor little vassal here. And uh, it's, looking like <laughs> it's looking like I have nothing really to defend them with. I mean, I have this, but it is not enough. I guess I could maybe hire, you know, a good raiding target. No, they, they're not selling. Oh, they are selling mercenaries like this. Okay, yeah, let's hire them. How many, how many Field is that? Engineers have cleared a blocker. 12,000. Mm. I don't know. That's not enough, I'm thinking. I mean, these are battleships. They're decent battleships, but I don't... Yeah, this is Recon this is the Great Khan himself, and he's just very OP. So I don't know. We'll try. We will try to get ourselves back in shape. When will these? Hold on. When will these uh, battleships be ready? Two hundred days. Yeah. We'll try. We have another civic slot, and I'm not really sure what we're gonna do here. I want Distinguished Admiralty for obvious reasons. It would fit our empire really nice. And, uh, yeah. Commander Leader. Leader Experience Gain. Commander Starting Skill. Really would fit in with our other Commander perk here. But, um... Yeah, I mean, Naval Capacity plus 1% for each each person of the Lord High Admiral. Every, every level of the Lord High Admiral. Which is nice. But, I think I, I might... I might just have to go police state, unfortunately, which I don't want to do. But the stability would really would really help our economy. All of our worlds are not stable as not as stable as they should be, unfortunately. In fact, some of them are pretty low. Yeah, this one's only 66% stable, which yeah, resources from jobs plus 9%. Let's see what this is. Resources plus from jobs plus twenty five percent. So yeah, we're 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 missing out on a good percentage of our resources just by being unstable. So I think we're gonna have to go police state for now. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go police state for now, and maybe we'll get more admirals in the future. I'm not too sure. Um, well, we definitely need a lord commander. It's like one of the most important things we need. Um, secret police we don't really need. That we don't really need either. We need a head of research, obviously. 
then we do need a minister of state. Our empire just needs one of those. And then the last thing, I guess, yeah, ship upkeep we definitely need as well. So yeah, this is what our new place looks like. We can't, oh, we can expand the council. Okay, we are gonna expand the council instead of increase our unity production. Um, plus one building slots or embassy. I guess we'll go building slots. Our, our ships are moving their way towards, yeah, towards uh, our fleets. We have built a battleship fleet, which our Lord High Commander is in charge of currently. And we also got our other fleets back. So this should be more Science than enough to take success. on the Great Khan, who has annoyingly advanced in our subject's territory. And uh, they're also bombing this world, so we can't allow that to happen. In fact, this world is one of the worlds that the Rot are actually in charge of. Well, not in charge of, but... Yeah, they're not in charge, but they are <coughs> in it. One of the only worlds that the Rot are in, I think, in this empire. I mean, let's see. Have the Rot showed up in the capital? Okay, there is f a few Rot in the capital. But, uh, yeah... Inbound anyway, we traffic. need to get our ships over there to stop that bombardment and more more, more importantly stopping the Great Khan. If we could get the completed. if we could get the chair of the Great Khan, that would be amazing. Okay, we could do that. Let's um let's buy some minerals so we can use the Cybrex Warforge. We have the Warforge, which is great. A great boon. Oh, the Great Khan is dead. Um, special t forces in in the employ of a yet un unidentified galactic empire. Well, we kind of wanted to kill him, though. Oh, this this fleet is only twenty thousand now at this point. Underway. Holy hell! Yeah, they're getting crushed. Oh yeah, that is nice. And let's take out these guys as well. Man, that's that's kind of uh, that's kind of crazy. They died right before we could attack Fleet them, which is not at underway. all what we wanted. Hmm. I don't think we lost a ship. And these guys are no longer being bombarded. I mean, we might as well continue on our war path while we still can. Science division. Even though it's new not very useful, if only to get some XP for our admirals. Let's see. Can we we can hire another admiral, right? Okay, oh yes. Good, another rod admiral is available. We'll make that guy a skirmisher. Victory, no matter the cost. Okay. Well, we didn't get there in time. Well, that's fine. It is time to reorganize our fleets, it seems. Let's get them all here. And then we'll separate the corvettes and the destroyers. I mean, I guess I could do that now. No, we'll we'll wait for these guys to regroup, and then we'll we'll separate them and organize them so that the scrappers can figure out the scrappers can figure out what's going on here. So anyway, yeah, the horde has splintered, which I expected, with it being that big. Um, the they have no more strong ruler, of course. Each of them now claims the title of Great Khan of the galaxy, and their supporters are locked in bitter opposition. It was not meant to be. Interesting. Um, let's go down Harmony. Right? Yeah, yeah Harmony. I think we need Harmony. Available. We need more stability. We need more economy and everything like that, so... We still don't have anything really to do with those Ascension perks. But yeah, let's look at the new cons. So we have the Meridian... My Darian Khanate. Okay. Xenophobe militarists. Interesting. Are they all xenophobe militarists? Xenophobe militarists. Secession horde. Then these guys who are like more northern. Greater Meridian Khanate. Okay. Xenophobe militarists. Okay, looks like they're all xenophobe militarists. Oh, and their capital is in Deneb. Interesting. I would love to declare a holy war against these <laughs> Khanate successor states, but I am not the Federation president, somehow. I'm definitely catching up though. Uh, only a thousand left. Interesting. Could we even... Could we even swing this though? That's the question. Oh yeah, we could swing this. Okay. Yeah, we'll... we'll s okay. 
We're close. I mean, not too close. In fact, we used to be like 1,200 away. Now we're 1,100 away, aren't we? A little bit less than that. Mm. Man, this is... Uh, they would go back to majority vote, though. We might just have to do that, <laughs> actually. Um, but then, would they ever go back to President Decides? Maybe. I don't know. That's that's a really good uh, point here. Okay, these guys were vassalized. Interesting. Which means they're kind of part of the Federation now. Okay, cool. Our block expands. Yeah, I'm... I'm very conflicted. I would love, 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 love... Okay, these guys are receptive? Why? They're materialists. I would love to go to war with these guys. We have finished our highway all throughout our systems here, except this little system. Yeah, because these guys aren't rich enough or technologically advanced enough to actually... Yeah, to actually... Wait. Yeah, negative 1,000. To actually do it, I, and they would need to be either my vassal or something else to actually put it there, which is uh, so annoying. Even from the beginning of the game, this was annoying. But now it's annoying because, like, they're just too poor to actually complete the highway. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's, um, yeah, let's, let's do the thing we wanted to do here. So let's just take all of these ships, take all of these, 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 yeah. And we'll take all of those miscellaneous fleets that I just got. Let's see them here. Okay. Can we combine these fleets? We can. Okay. We have a pretty, pretty big uh, fleet capacity here. These are all battleships. Okay, we're going to combine these fleets as well. These are battleships. Okay. Let's combine them. Okay, so... Let's see here. This is one battleship. Interesting. Uh, can one battleship merge with this guy? No. What about these guys? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and merge. Alright, hopefully that'll figure some stuff out. I don't know. But here we go. We have 31 destroyers and 39 corvettes. Let's move them into this system here. No, we don't want to attack them. And yeah, we'd like to scrap a fleet. Um, the murder of Barrow? Wait. Oh, yeah, the nest manufacturer. No, no. We want you to, uh, we want you to, yeah, the nest manufacturer. No. We want you to get rid of this fleet. That should have given us a good amount of, uh, oh, man. They turn into control of the scrapper people. Inbound message. And then they go there to get. Science oh. division report success. <laughs> uh all right. Hmm. I've never seen that happen before. Interesting. I did not know that happens. Okay, let's uh let's fix our fleets here. They probably yeah, no. Definitely don't want you to reinforce that. There was a reason I just got rid of them all. Uh raiders, that's not really our fleet. And yeah, looks like we all have battleships now. I think I think that'll be a good thing overall. Just I mean battleship spam is it used to be the meta anyway. I don't I don't know if it still is. Not that we're really going for anything meta, it's just that's how I want to play this playthrough. You know, I like I like mixing in different different types of uh different types of fleet design for different games. And this time this time we're going battleship spam. Also, these guys joined us, which uh, isn't too good. We wanted, yeah, we wanted materialists not to really join, but I guess over time in the Federation, they'll be more and more exposed to spiritualism, which is good. Science division reports a new breakthrough. So yeah, I mean, I built this this empire here to um, <laughs> to I don't know to spread our religion, but it seems like. We're spreading it peacefully just fine. And the Great Khan, of course, really helped out because it made it made all the empires either want to join the Federation more, want to get subjugated by Federation members more, or just in general made it so that the Federation members wanted more people to join. 
because for the longest time, these guys were best friends with all of our Federation here, and uh, they, they even have a one of our original Federation members' uh, species guard, uh, ruling them right now. But anyway, yeah, they were best friends with all of our Federation members, but they just didn't want them to join for some reason. Of course, that has all changed. And now, the only really block left of the galaxy is the former Shattered Con state. These guys, which I don't even... I don't even know who they are. We're at war with them? Wait, what? Wait, what? What are we... Why is our Federation at war with them? What is this war over? Achieve war goals. Demanding surrender. Oh, vassalization war goal. Wait, who is our Federation president? These guys? So we're going to war for these guys. Interesting. And... And what is this? this? Is just a fanatic militarist egalitarian state? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess let's uh, fix up our battleships and go to war. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a war. Our people have been itching for one for a while. And the Great Khan, we had some good battles, but they did not satiate our hunger. But yeah, our goal of getting our Sacrosanct Covenant, or. Er, Sorry, our Holy Covenant. We're called the Sacrosanct Covenant, which I do like the name, actually. But yeah, getting our Holy Covenant to a major player in the galaxy has definitely been achieved. I mean, we have pretty much everyone in the galaxy, except the Khan, you know, uh, succession states. I don't, I don't know what you would call them. And then these guys, who eventually, I'm sure, will go to war with... Oh, we already at war with them. Okay, wait. I know we're in a war to subjugate somebody I don't know which one we're subjugating but we're gonna be subjugating one of these guys so yeah it seems like either everyone's in our Federation or they're the robots or they're the Connet split up states or we're at war with them which I mean it's still pretty early in the game it's only 2307 and we have pretty much the entire galaxy in our Holy Covenant so Goal complete. Of course, we didn't do that in the way that I thought I would have to do it. I thought I would have to do lots of liberation wars with lots of, uh, you know, getting our ships across the galaxy to fight those wars, but not really. Seems like most people are just ready and willing to join, which, I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm open to doing that. Cause if I don't have to go and do a whole bunch of silly wars, and I'm basically playing a game of politics. I'm, t I'm just playing a game of politics at the moment trying to get my economy up so that I can eventually take over this federation. But man, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, 5,000 versus 3,000? Wait, 5,000? Wait, how are we 2,000 behind now? My god, what are they... What are they doing? Uh, let them go. I, I genuinely don't understand. 5,000 economic power? What are they smoking in this empire? I, I just don't... I don't get it. I mean, what are they What are they doing? I mean, this is a nice world and all, but like... Is it so nice that they're just completely mogging us? Well, this is actually a nice world too. Wow, I can't even... I can't even hate. And they, ha and they have... Astro mining habitats as well. Jesus Christ, man. Dude. 5,000. We are... We are nearly 2,000 behind. How has that even happened? I just... I don't understand. Oh, wait. Is it because... Is it because we're doing, doing food shortages? Does that... Does that kill our economy? Wait, hold on. I think that might kill our economy. Score. I mean, it's, it hasn't killed completed. our economy, our economy, but it's definitely. I think it might have killed our economy. Score. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, it's gone. How are we doing now? Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. <laughs> not, not too great. I mean, we're still like two thousand behind. Yeah, I really, I just don't get it. I, I. <laughs> Is these people? I just don't. I don't understand. They have a lot of worlds. They have eighteen worlds versus our what nine? We have like nine worlds. Yeah, we have nine worlds. But I didn't think their worlds would be so much better than ours, even with them having eighteen. I mean, this station is just 
more of a loss than anything. This world is good. Yeah, their worlds are good, which is weird. I mean, they have hydroponic farms and stuff, but other than that, it's not like... I mean, this world isn't too good, but it's it's decent. It's a mining world that invests in mining. Commercial zones. Hmm. I just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I, I really don't. I, I don't. But, uh... Hopefully I'll figure it out. If, if I never take control of the Federation, it'll be sad, but... The ultimate goal of expanding our Federation will be, uh... Will still be completed either way. <laughs> I just, uh... Man, I would really like to take control of this Federation. I, I, I almost want to kick these guys out. Which, I mean, yeah, no one would even go for that, so I, I don't even know. We are accidentally attacking this group of uh, marauders here. Which we'll be able to easily take, but um, <laughs> is not what we wanted. Fortunately for us, we did not attack one of these <laughs> larger groups. Which would be very unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how it works out. Science division report success. Our battleships are running away. Okay. How did that work out? I, I would like to see. Okay, we didn't lose anything. So, huh, it's actually really good. Um, we should definitely heal, though, after that. Yeah, we're headed down to this war here. I guess we'll head to this station and heal. Federation... Ecumenical Council. The Federation members are united around their spirituality. We have found common ground that we are believers. Um, haven't we already done this? Lately, members of different clergies have been pushing for a council for unified dogma. I mean, of course we will do it, but I thought we already did that. Complete. Are we doing it again? Perhaps we are doing it again. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we have scrap here. Um, let's see here. During today's bait, it should be a global head of the Unified Church. I mean, yeah. Our delegation made a brilliant display. Oh, an impeccable logic. Virtually crushing uh, those arguing against our point of view. With the opposition silenced, the conclusion of swish, uh, was swiftly reached thanks to us. Other delegates wish to... Honor us for our wisdom. These fools would get nothing done without us. Of course, if we can take control of uh, the Trident Federation's Space ideology and theology, then yes, for sure we will do that. Also, we have some debris for these guys. So let's let them do that. And we want this, of course. Yes, if, if they're going to let us be in charge of the universal completed. dogma of the Federation, that might even be better than being their president. Although I would still like to be their president. Um, Messiah Review, we were merely prophets, was suddenly interrupted by a prelude come in, dragging along members of different delegations. They are a symbol of unity or they are disgrace. Okay, so we lose influence, but gain unity for doing this. I think we will do a symbol of unity this time. Just u lose the influence and gain the unity. I think that's better for us anyway. Construction complete. Yeah. I know we didn't do that complete. last time, but uh, that's what we're doing this time. We have citadels, finally, as well. Okay, for 20 years, plus 20% 20 unity from jobs, plus 3 monthly federation XP. Ooh. That is quite juicy. Quite juicy. Um, crystals. We need crystals. Oh, we don't have crystals. Okay. Alright, it seems like our fleets are here now, which is good. I don't think we'll have much resistance in this war. Vassalizing these guys. What what again who are we vassalizing for who again? I don't Science know. Division. I'm pretty sure yeah, Coalition of Yolder. It Okay. Vel Volatarian War of Overlordship. Which ones are the Volatarians? These guys? Wait. You want this... You want these guys to be your vassal and not either of these guys. Okay. I mean, alright. Whoa, whoa. Our Federation 
is getting stuff done over here. Oh, we have a Federation fleet. Yeah, I almost forgot. 32k. Okay. Not bad. Probably atrocious ship designs, but you know. Um, oh, it seems like they've captured this habitat. Let's, yeah, let's bomb it. Sure. Help us at help them out. I would just like to probably go in and actually just destroy their ships. Test out our weaponry complete. and go on the offensive. We can leave the bombing of territories to to the Federation members that can spare the ships. Alright, our first real war against heretics. Oh, let's get this out of the way here. System reconnaissance our completed. battleships ran away and shredded them, which is excellent. I don't think I don't know if I've shown my battleship design, but it's basically a artillery with some strike craft and missiles as well. So, yeah, it's an artillery computer, so it is actually artillery. It's just just has some strike craft. I could have also done just the one strike craft, but strike craft are pretty good. And they also make up for any any range issues we have. So, yeah. So I guess I'll just uh, take this space for our Federation war while the rest of the Federation members invade the capital of the main enemy there. And Yeah, how many planets do these guys have? These guys have 13 planets, and of course they're pathetic in every way. So it's not just the number of planets these guys have. It's, uh... It's, it's just something about them. Oh, they're Master Crafters. I guess that makes a lot more sense, actually, on why they're so powerful. These guys are living in my head rent-free. It's superior tech, too. Still, all this time, superior tech. Oh, man. 5,700. I, I, don't, I don't know how they do it, still. But, uh... Yeah. Let's get this war out of the way. Have one less uh one less person not in our federation and go from there. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, the 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 one fallen empire. I'm pretty sure there's only one fallen empire in this galaxy and they are spiritualists. So, not only did half the galaxy spawn spiritualists, but the one fallen empire also spiritualist, which is funny. We have equivalent economy to the fallen empire already. And still these guys mog us. <laughs> I can't get over it. So we won our war here. Wow. Our federation is looking bigger by the moment. Seems like our only big hole in our federation is these guys, which I would love to go to war with. But a new federation person has just been elected. Yeah, now it's the Destican League, interestingly enough. These guys, who wouldn't even be allowed in the Federation for a long time, but now, they're our leader. And, you know what, I would actually... Here's the thing. I don't know if we're ever going to get the strongest. <laughs> we're still trailing 2,000 behind, and there's not really much we can do about it. <laughs> I, I think I just give up, so I'm just probably going to do... This. Yeah. I'm going to use five of our favors, I think, to flip the vote over to challenge successive type. Because that is something Science we could division. consistently we'll win. A, new a challenge. Let's see here. No, not destroyers. Um, Alright, we'll figure out. Okay, so it did change to challenge. Now the challenge type. Psionic battle, arena combat, golden rule... Currently, we're doing arena combat, which, hmm, the ruler, the ruler leader, the ruler's leader and species traits, the empire's ethics and civics, thesis defense. Well, thesis defense sounds really good. <coughs> the ruler's leader and scientific traits, technology level. Oh, that's not good. Um, proportion of the population working as priests or other spiritualist jobs. Unity investment, tradition, planetary ascension, and others, an available stockpile. Hmm. Each thesis will re be reviewed in s within 60 days. Hmm. I think we'll always just win the golden rule. So, yeah, here's the thing. The number of pops with psionic traits, the number of pops with the telepath job, zero offerings. Hmm. That seems good, too. Number of pops with a psionic traits. Well, 
I'm pretty sure a good amount of my pops are already psionic. Of course, the uh, the rot are all psionic. So, yeah. We could also turn these guys psionic if we go assimilation. I think that might be good for us. Let's see. Do, do these guys, who of course are our number one threat, do these guys have psionic pops? Well, they have rot, apparently. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a world full of rot, so they are psionic. And, yeah, the Hunrui are psionic. Oh, they're all psionic. They must have their species thing to set to, uh, yeah, assimilation. Yeah, even these, even these, uh, uplifted species are psionic. So, yeah, they must have everything set to assimilation, which I guess we should similarly do at some point. It's gonna cripple our economy for a little bit. But, uh, I guess we don't really have to worry about that anymore. So here's the question. Do we want to do Golden Rule? Which, of course, we know we can win. I mean, we could just cheese our energy credits into, into Oblivion to get the most energy credits. I mean, we're already almost filled up on them. Or Spiritual Conclave, which makes more sense. Or S Psionic Battle, which also makes more sense. Hmm. The number of pops with psionic traits, the number of pops with the telepath job, zero offerings. Hmm. See, if we lose that, then, then that'll be bad. Do these guys... These guys don't have much... These guys don't many ha have many telepath jobs. And yeah, they don't have many telepath jobs. What about these guys? Do they have telepath jobs in their random worlds? No. We could win that. We could win psionic battles. And plus, psionic battles sounds the best. A portion of Pops working as priests or other spiritualist jobs. Unity investment traditions, planetary ascension, stockpile. Hmm. And then golden rule. Everyone will just accept the golden rule. I guess we can always change it, but let's just do... I guess we'll do Psionic Battle. I've never done it before, and it fits with the theme. Because... Yeah. Hopefully, we'll win. Yeah, let's vote that into, into law. And let's make it so all of our species are converted to Psionic as well. I know that's probably going to destroy our economy, but... Yeah. We're going to have to do it. Assimilation. I guess we'll just do the top species for now. I don't know if we don't if we really need to do all of them. I guess we should set our default rights to assimilation as well. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Transcendent Awakening. Let's get these guys uh Oh, they're already psionic. Let's get these guys psionic as well. And then let's get these guys psionic. Um, let's get these guys psionic. Transcendent Awakening, yes, yes. Um, let's get these guys psionic as well. And finally, these guys. The rest of the species, I guess, are only like f two or three or four, so it's not really, not really too necessary. And, and we are going to change our default citizenship to assimilation. So... Oh, we got it passed. Um, we're not doing too well when it comes to our base materials, as many of our base material producing complete. worlds were full of not psionic pops. Yeah, it looks like this world has been completely wiped out, Science bar a few psionic pops, which have just been promoted to leader, so that's good. What are we fighting? Oh, an amoeba. Okay. Uh, let's see Recon here. Oh, completed. and we're finishing up the Harmony tradition. Grants access to the Holy Covenant Federation type. Well, luckily we already have that. Yeah, we have a lot of... A lot of stuff here we can have. I guess we could we could go Voidborn. Habitat build cost. Build slots. Hmm. Jobs from Habitat Districts plus one. Oh, really? That's pretty crazy. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, we've built some habitats here. Just to try to boost our economy further. Just anything to boost our economy. But, uh, yeah. Wait, so... Oh, only... 
Only two minor jobs plus three housing. Hmm. I'm not sure if we'll go down Voidborn, but we might. We have some really, really good habitats here with yeah, all of these resources going in Sanctuary 1 and then all of these resources going in Sanctuary 2. Have I made... No, I haven't made Sanctuary 3 yet, but it is being made here. So we might... We might go down... That is interesting looking. A little pixelated though. But I can see the... I guess those would be rivers? Do they make like... I don't know how habitats are supposed to be made, but I don't think I've ever zoomed into one so so far. Especially one being built. Um, rising unemployment. Well, that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> um, well, okay, we'll, we'll increase the benefits. A weak but incessant signal in the Lando system. Okay, that is across the entire galaxy, Science so I do not care. A new Let's see what the Shroud has to say. Um, this one? Hey, plus 40%. Holy hell. Okay, plus 40% speed. Alright, so when... Oh, it's gonna be a... F it's gonna be a while until the next president is even chosen. So, yeah, these guys are gonna be the president for a while, and then... Holy hell! 7,000. <laughs> These guys are just pulling away. Their economy is superior again instead of instead of equivalent. Oh my god. I I actually have no idea what they're doing. Oh, maybe it's the assimilation thing. I might explain it. Science but I have a feeling that success. even after the assimilation thing, they're still going to be superior. I have a bad feeling. 31,000. Wow. And battleships, too. When did the AI get so good? So we are starting to form a covenant, and, uh... Seems like the Instrument of Desire has reached out to us. If only we accept it into our hearts. If it is a conf... Er, it, it is confident that we will say yes. How could we possibly say no? And I think we are going to say yes. Resources from jobs plus 5%, pop upkeep plus 12.5%. I think I think that's fine. We do desire a lot. In fact, we definitely desire for our economy to be better because uh, our number one allies here, wow, they have some good fleets. Kind of kind of rivaling our own fleets a little bit. Oh wow, we have another fleet here too. Definitely are. I swear, half this video is just going to be me talking about how these guys are just destroying me, and <laughs> and I don't know how. But uh, yeah, so maybe these guys, maybe the Instrument of Desire will help, though. Maybe they'll help. It is done. We have formed a covenant with the Instrument of Desire. It did not take t long for the effects to be felt. Reports of rich new veins of ore have been found in our minds. Businesses that were about to fail suddenly are booming. Rare and valuable resources found on asteroids were suddenly. S um, we were certainly previously held nothing. Okay, but ice and rock. Okay, our empire is reaching a golden age of wealth and prosperity, just as the instrument, just as the instrument promised us. But what was the cost? Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing bad. I'm sure it's fine. A little bit of extra desire, a little bit of extra consumer goods upkeep, a little bit of uh, extra food upkeep. That is not an issue. Construction. Well, complete. maybe it's a little bit of an issue, but. It's not a big issue. No, I think we will be completely fine. We definitely need to get our strength up for the upcoming psionic battle. For which, yeah, the number of pops of psionic traits and the pops of telepath jobs. Yeah, we definitely have more telepath jobs. We have telepaths on pretty much all of our planets. Okay, I say that, but we don't have telepaths on this, the first one that I click on. Or the second one. Okay, never mind. I'm glad I... I'm glad I looked to see if that was actually the case. We have we have telepaths here, here. I don't think we can have them here yet. What do we need? We need 10 pops, okay. We only have 8 pops. We have telepaths here, and of course we have telepaths on our home world. So yeah, we should be, we should be good. Oh wait, I didn't mean to actually... Why did I buy that guy? We are now over our official capacity. And we don't need that guy. 
Um. No, I mean, I guess you can. All right, sure. <laughs> Welcome aboard, I guess. We have our Federation max level, level five. So non gestalt non-spiritualist empires will now have their bureaucratic building swap for temples. So we're forcing temples on any empire that uh, is in our federation but isn't already spiritualist, which is great. And then Zero Kettle. So we don't have any Zero, unfortunately. And then Revered Edicts. Edicts fund plus 20% for whoever the president is. Hopefully that'll be us soon. Um, yeah, we have the psionic battle. Okay, here we go. So the term ends 2342. See, I knew you could check when the current term ends. I just forgot how you did it. But this, this is how you do it right here. The current term ends in exact, almost exactly two years. So two years and then we'll have our psionic battle for the control of the Federation, which will probably have a medium, Science medium fleet division. contribution Reports by then. In fact, breakthrough. if we just wait a little bit, I'm certain that once our cohesion goes back up. Oh, our cohesion already is the max. Okay, maybe... Maybe some people just genuinely don't want this. Would it pass anyway? No, it would not. If we if we traded in one favor, it would pass though. Well, we already have 10 favors with those guys, so we might as well. Yeah, let's do it. It doesn't benef us, benefit us now, of course. As it would actually hurt us now. But, um, okay, it's a deal. But yeah, it'll help us in the future once we get... Okay, most people are saying no. But it passed anyway, which is great. Actually, actually hurt us a good amount. Skywatch but once we once we get form. the presidency, then it'll help us. I, I mean, I'm banking on us getting the presidency and winning the psionic battle. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, it, it helps the Federation, of course. The Federation fleet will be very large. Where even is the Federation fleet? I'm pretty sure these guys are the president right now. So is it in their home system? Yeah, here it is. It's only 31k. I feel like it should definitely be more than that. How much of my federation, how much of my capacity? Yeah, we're giving 20% of our naval capacity to the federation. We should definitely, definitely be seeing more federation fleets in 31k, but all right. And it's not just me giving 20%, it's all of these guys. Every single one of these empires, well, not every single one, the, the ones that aren't vassals, because vassals aren't in the federation. So yeah, all of these empires, very strong empires giving 20% should definitely should definitely be having a bigger thing here quantum catapult we do not want I guess we'll go more stealth resources I, oh we don't have that tech yet no wonder we're so behind I mean we're not behind we're only behind these guys but yeah we're also building mega structures now we finished one section of the cybrex's ring world we're working on another and I was waiting for 10 Oh, we ran out of food. Oops. Oops. Um, yeah, let's sell some alloys. Uh, I was waiting for alloys to actually start construction of our... Yeah, of our science nexus here. That's the next thing we're going to build. So we're going to have a science nexus. And, oh wow, every single pop is in this faction. I did not know that. Every single pop. And it's a 100% approval rating. Wow. How did we fix our politics to be like this? I don't remember that. That's really excellent. Yeah, food shortages, we'll invest in farmers for now. We just don't have as many people willing to be farmers. This is more of like a research world. Actually, we do have a good amount of farmers. I don't know why we're so negative in food. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be building our science nexus and we're gonna be rebuilding this ring world. I already have gotten well, here, I might as well show you. I already have Master Builders, and yeah, I can afford Galactic Wonders now as well. I can also do the Arcology Project, but I'm not sure I really need it. I'm not sure I really need it because this world, this relic world here... Yes, we're going to restore the Ecumenopolis on this world. I, I wasn't already doing that. Good thing I checked. Yeah. So I got anti-gravity engineering division. recently Reports and I I did mastery of nature on this world so I couldn't exactly do the restore ecumenopolis as soon as possible. I'm glad I remembered, but this will be a 13 size ecumenopolis. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. No, no. This world. This world is our ecumenopolis. <laughs> oh, I almost did uh 
Yeah, I almost did very silly Ships move. Refitted. No, this this is going to be restored. I was like, 13 size? That's not right. No, we're going to have a 23 size Ecumenopolis here. And, uh... Yeah, that should be more more than enough jobs. I mean, we don't have enough jobs for our people already, so... Or, sorry, we don't have enough people for our jobs already. We have plenty of jobs open, so... A 23 size Ecumenopolis might be enough that we don't need... That we don't need more than one Arcology project. And if we do, and if we do, we could always turn this world, which is just a, you know, energy producing world anyway, which most people aren't even working the jobs. We could always turn this into another Ecumenopolis if absolutely necessary. But uh, yeah, I think I might even take Voidborn over Ecumenopolis and I could even set up some refinery stations or not refinery stations, sorry, industrial stations on top of all these other stations we have. Yeah, we have lots of ships refitted. Lots of uh lots of jobs on these stations and we don't even have all the orbitals built. Yeah, see we're are, we're still collecting 3 and 12 here and 8 and 20 and 27 minerals. We're we're not even having all the orbitals and we have so many jobs. Um Cybrax mining hub. We could do that or we could well, we could do starbase capacity. That would that would help with our naval capacity as we need more naval capacity. Um, ring segment, we don't really need that. Oh, we don't really need any of this. So I guess we'll just do the repeatable. Here we go, the psionic battle. The spirits of the Shroud grow increasingly restless as the time draws near to decide who should lead the Sacrosant Covenant during the next term. It is time for each candidate's best psychics to journey to Bredick. Where is Bredick? The capital of the current president. Oh, okay. And uh, there they shall meet to do battle until only the strongest group prevails. No Zero, we shall win without it. Oh, we don't have Zero. Should we Should we ha be having Zero? I bought some. Uh, okay, I guess we're winning without it. Hopefully. It's a shame we don't have any Zero in our empire. Oh, we do. I just don't have the tech. Oh, <gasps> we won! Yes! Oh, that is a cool picture. I've never seen this before. I've never done the psionic battle before. All psychics from across the Sacrosanct Covenant are meant to be gathering on bedrock. A somewhat embarrassing situation arises. As it turns out, we are the only me member who could muster enough psychics to participate. Really? With no... With no one to fight, the victory goes to us. Okay. We win by default. Amazing. And now, as president, we can finally do the things that we have wanted to do for so long. Which, uh, I think we'll start by declaring war against these guys. Yeah. How much of them do I have claimed again? I have all of this claimed. Which is excellent. I don't, I don't have any more influence to claim anymore, so... I think we'll do our first crusade against the robots and we'll probably go on many many more crusades all throughout these years hmm I might also switch them things up yeah I might change it to 40 years I might change some things to uh, president decides who joins president decides who can gets kicked I don't know I don't know how mad I want to go with power here I probably want to at least do the 40 years thing. As it seems like uh, <laughs> we're probably going to win these psychic battles, so. In fact, yeah, let's just let's just do it now. So, let's see. Does this actually increase? I don't actually know if this increases our current term or just the next term. So, 2362. Okay, 2362. When it passes. Okay, the current term ends 2 Two three eight two. Wow! So this does just put us in charge of the Galactic, uh, of well, not Galactic Federation, but pretty much the Galactic Federation, um, for yeah, all of these years, forty years. I now have control of the Federation, and I can get a lot done in forty years. And finally, the Crusade of the Righteous begins. We are going to, of course, conquer our Standing claims and destroy operations. any robots that exist Repeat. in them. Diplomatic functions terminated, war mode engaged. 
Yes, yes. Let's get in there and destroy these robots. Finally. Oh, Engaging they have... Enemy station. They have Lithoid? Oh, here comes all of our strike craft. Absolutely shredding them. Good, good, good. Um, I'm wondering if we should bomb the worlds? No, let's just blitz down their empire and worry about bombing, bombing their worlds later. In fact, we should probably train some psychic armies. I don't have many armies. Um, okay. Isn't there a thing? Yeah, army builder. Yeah, let's do... Let's do the army builder and let's do wrought psionic armies. And let's do it here as well. Um, can I not? Oh, I can't afford them. Yeah, we're gonna need to, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to turn this guy into a... Oh, we don't even have the money to do that. We're gonna have to sell some alloys to do it. Oh, we need influence as well. Ooh, I did not know that. I forgot. Yeah, we, we need to turn this into a... A mercenary enclave for two reasons. One, we get we need to get rid of this naval uh, usage here, and we also need the thing that increases our naval usage once we pay the enclave. So 70, 79 to a month. Hmm. I I guess we'll make it, but um, yeah, we're getting the Federation fleet upgraded station. here. Okay, the the enemies. They decided to jump away from the system Science that we're attacking, division. which... Oh, no, they've through. jumped back. Okay, that is a good amount of Fleet ships, but underway. we have a very, very large amount of ships. And their weird lithoid slash robot ships will definitely not survive. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get down that station. Let's just take down their stations to make sure that they can't rebuild here. Oh, we definitely want that. Engaging enemy station. I'm sure it feels good for our people to finally be in a crusade, especially against this machine intelligence that has been way too powerful for its own good here. Okay, they used to be third in the galaxy, but now they're just competing for third. They're about, you know, less than a thousand away from the other contenders for third here, so. And we are a contender for first at this point. We're only a few thousand away. So. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Okay, looks like our Federation members are getting in on the action. And they are handedly Engaging winning, even though the station. fleets were relatively... Yeah, relatively the same, fleet power-wise. Wow, minus 800 a month, man. That is, that is very unfortunate. Okay, here we go. We can finally turn these guys into a mercenary enclave, which is exactly what we need. And we need logistical solutions as well. It's gonna cost 6,000, man. Well, I mean, <laughs> we don't have much of a choice. Was it only 5,000? All right, let's see what our our energy deficit is now. Only 149? Oh man, that is definitely doable. That is definitely doable. Yeah, this is this is excellent. Spaceport reports enemy and now, I think with their main fleets out of the way, I can probably split up the rest of my fleets and uh, yeah, just go ahead station. and systematically take out every station of course and we have another another part of unity restored do we have enough to restore this one no but that's not really too important we're gonna put our founder species on it of course unity two the unity two unity section two whatever you want to call it um we can't buy those we can't buy those minerals as much as we want to, so I think I'm gonna leave that there actually. How many um how many ships have we lost? Let's see. Reinforce all? Have we not lost any? We have not lost a single ship in this war. I know I clicked away from the oh, there's random battleships I have for some reason. Um I think they were probably going to go on the fleet that I just made an enclave, but uh Yeah. Obviously, that's not going to happen anymore. I guess I can merge them with Zarquan's Pilgrims. We do have the Head, which has given us these Fallen Empire ships. We have the Head Relic. 
Where is the Pollen Empire Fleet ships? Action underway. I don't see them. Where where is Sokan's ships? Engaging enemy station. Oh there they are. Yeah, the escort class and then the one avatar class. I know I Oh yeah, only one avatar class. I wish the head would give you more. In fact I could do the head instead of yeah, let's just do that. Sarkhan wills it. Of course he does. Of course he does. Okay, okay, now we got we got more this time. Okay, I'm glad it scales with the the scale of your empire. Cause it definitely wouldn't feel worth it. Okay, twenty three thousand. Oh yeah, no, this is actually Science Division very nice. A new breakthrough. Yeah, this is a fifty K fleet here. Hmm. This is one of our best overnight. How's our war going? Seems like it's going swimmingly. We have a lot of Oh man, these guys pretty pretty good when it comes to technology. Let's let's research that, yeah. Can we get over here safely? And research No, we cannot. Okay, well you're gonna switch science ships then. Cause we need you to research all of that juicy technology they have. Wielding the power of this Federation's very mighty sword is gonna be an addicting thing. It has been a long time, and I have been patiently waiting, Ground objective and man, secured. it is very nice. All of these planets I didn't even invade. This is the first planet that I've invaded with my 1.4k things. Oh yeah, these guys invaded this one. Awesome. Our Federation members are being very, very useful. I cannot pretend that they aren't. Yeah, 200, that should be fine. And yeah, we have just blitzed down this empire in... I don't, I don't remember exactly how many years, but it has not been too long. Engaging enemy it is looking station. like we could probably take on Space just about anything. Enemy contact. These guys, of course, are bombed into hell, but they're not going to surrender. Sword one actual oh man, yeah, this is really nice. Secured. Let's go, let's go invade this planet, as they have no. Oh, we never took out the star base. Okay, we'll go take out the star base. Engaging enemy station. Yeah, so they're already at a hundred percent war exhaustion. Apparently, we're not occupying some claims. I guess it's the claims of the other empire because complete. I'm pretty sure we're occupying all these claims. That's for sure. All of my claims. So, oh yeah, this might be one of the one of the planets that we're not occupying. Oh, it looks Science like they are invading it. Success. Look at all my very useful allies. Very strong allies too. Look at these guys. <laughs> guys are so strong I, I don't understand but here they are and look at their fleet oh that's the dimensional fleet okay that's a little bit of cheating but uh, still very strong let's see yeah, let's blitz down the rest and then I think we'll probably start we'll probably start converting the cons maybe I don't know these cons are already at war so maybe we don't want to convert them maybe we convert these guys first I don't know. We are in charge of war. We have nobody to say, A, hey, no going to war with someone because I don't want to. No, we can... Oh, expertise psionics. That's cool. Um, trade focused. Yeah, we can just declare war on anyone we want. Almost, we could declare war on everyone right now if we wanted to. And just liberate them all. Impose ideology on them all. I'm not going to do that, of course. I have 40 years to go and uh, plenty of military might, so Engaging enemy station. hopefully we'll have 40 more after that as well. The Hydras are paying dividends, yes. They have already paid their dividends in lessening my... Okay, here we go. This war is over. We admit defeat. But anyway, I was saying they have already paid their dues by making our energy credits positive by not only increasing our naval capacity by 20% but also lessening it because we gave them all those battleships is someone renting them no they aren't okay yeah we have won the war that's about what I expected um yeah we have a lot more a lot more things in the frontier sector now I guess we'll go check out their home planet axis oh no is this their home planet I think this is their home planet yeah 87 pops and they are all being purged except we've brought in a few gentlemen here to take over. Of course
course we are just going to completely purge all of the robots. We have no use for them. They are just all going to have to die. Midri. Is that the... That's the Connet population. How did they get the Connet population? I don't know. But, um... Yeah, they're in charge now. This might be... Yeah, this is this is definitely damaging our economy here. We'll have to figure this out. But, uh... Yeah, I can do that on my own time. Right now, I'll probably get my fleets to go back, upgrade, and then... We'll go convert to these guys next, I think. These planets are being terraformed into machine worlds. Let's definitely stop that. Um... I've thought it over, and I think I'm going to just allow these planets to... Yeah, I think I'm going to let them take over... Take on their own sector here with the... Yeah, let's do this. And then, let's see. The sector encompasses all of these planets, yes. Even this one. How... Okay, this is a this is a habitat, not not really a sector. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let these guys uh, govern themselves, as it has kind of ruined my economy taking these guys on. Um, hopefully, they will survive by themselves. Let's let's get a. Where do we where do we have a rot? That is. Okay, we'll just we'll just bring a rot over and uh, let them take control. Let's see. Where is the sector? Yeah, planets and sectors. This new sector. Yeah, we're going to create a vassal with it. Um, we're going to be... Okay, we're randomizing it, sure. Or I guess this can be the... Um, this can be the rot robot cleanup. Um, rot robot cleanup something administration maybe no league e league yeah the rot robot cleanup administration league or sorry rot robot cleanup league sure let's just do it <laughs> um the vassal will be free to do whatever uh, actually, we'll, we <laughs> we should probably donate to them, but we're not going to. Uh, we only need one holding. They'll be pretty loyal, I think. And then unified sensors, of course. I don't think they... Yeah, they don't need to come into our conflicts. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Oh, well, yes, they do. Never mind. Because I don't have the influence to make them not. Um, There we go. The Rot Robot Cleanup League. They are... Okay, so they're Imperial. Interesting. And they have the correct ethics. Awesome. Ten planets. Very worthless empire. <laughs> very, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to be very, Inbound very, very poor. They're going to have to redo all of their worlds. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they'll figure it out, but, uh... As long as they're still purging these robots, I'm happy with them. And I can't really. I, I'm not. I just can't take take all of Science that world. Science division report success. All of that Ships world refitted. on. I cannot. Nor do I want to. I mean, I never claimed these systems to take them on my own. I'm still negative on everything, but at least my energy credits have stabilized. Probably mainly because my fleets are back. Oh no, they're not. Hmm. I don't know why. Are these guys even... Oh, yeah, they're preparing for ship upgrades. Yeah, they need to get their upgrade, and then we'll go after these guys. But currently, yeah. Ships we have refitted. created a new empire out of the old Robot League. A wrought empire. Okay, they went... They went from Imperial to Dictatorial. Did they... I, I don't think they actually went and changed. I think maybe it was just a visual we glitch. A new world. But yeah, that's that's what we're doing. I don't. Uh, I don't feel like reorganizing all of those worlds <laughs> so our fleets are at the border all of our fleets by the way not not the federation fleets that is sitting at home getting constantly upgraded i don't know why <laughs> i guess we're constantly getting new techs across our entire federation speaking of our entire federation we have turned free migration on 
to make sure that uh, to make sure that I do not have to spend so much influence on migration packs. Who do I still have a migration pact with? I'm guessing vassals of our various members, which is fine. I don't really care, but uh, yeah, we definitely need more influence as the game goes on for negotiating contracts, building orbital rings, and all that kind of stuff. Our big choke point is influence. I'm currently replacing all of our satellite districts with uh, with influence, Ministry of Truth buildings, so hopefully that should fix our influence problem. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to war with this concern here, and we are going to impose ideology, and we are going to bring our Federation with us. All of us. Most of the galaxy. And then hopefully, operations. afterwards, they'll be shown the light and join the Federation. And uh, we can all live happily ever Engaging after. This safety. is, of course, how I expected the game to go down. A lot of me going to war and uh, liberating different empires and converting them Engaging and then making them join station. after I guess we'll finally get into uh, <laughs> my my empire's build here this late into the game but hey better late than never and it's not like my build failed me during any point in the game it's just refitted. you know another way popped around um wow wait is that these guys they have a juggernaut these guys have a juggernaut okay Engaging Man, I, I just can't, uh, can't win. <laughs> These guys are always just destroying me, but, uh, anyway, we're finally getting to Engaging our enemy crusading wars. Finally getting rid of, okay, um, yeah, let us help. If that gives us influence, I'm definitely willing to help. Okay, our first major fleet of theirs. Fleet action underway. Well, our fleet is not really designed for up close and personal combat, but looks like we took them out just fine. Oh, that's just our that's just our little um, fallen empire fleet. Okay, the rest of them were lagging behind. Interesting. I think it's time to heal. Um, our pops now have an alloys upkeep for two years. Wild cravings. The desires inflicted upon our people by the instrument are strong. Our people, uh, the people of our empire have been caught in a frenzy of consumerism and decadence, demanding more and more exclusive goods, even rare and more savory foods. Already rioting has broken out in several shopping districts, and we might be forced to increase the production of our alloys to quiet the masses. Okay. Well, we have plenty of alloys, so that's probably the best one they could have chose. If it was, like, more food or something Science division we might have been success. in trouble but alloys alloys is fine and we're going to have our dyson sphere here soon so we're going to be able to build fleets into the stars here with four thousand extra energy yeah we'll be able to go way over our naval capacity and we're perfectly fine on alloys as well so that that part of the ship upkeep will not bother us all right i think this is their other big fleet Okay, looks like underway. they have more more big fleets, actually, but... Yeah, they're dead. These ones are gone. And their capital system is in our hands. We just gotta wait for our allies to show up and... Yeah, <laughs> these guys with their big-ass juggernaut. And their large-ass... Alright, what, what kind of transports are these? I guess I can't really Inbound tell. Oh, yeah. Traffic. Oh, there are, there are psionic armies as well. Psy Commandos. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just wait for those guys to come up and clean up the rest of these planets while we take over and destroy all the star bases and fleets that these poor little concerned people have to offer. This empire has been absolutely steamrolled. I guess the only people left are up there. I guess we could go uh, help them figure out why they're wrong about everything or I guess I can let my allies do it <laughs> it won't take them too long in fact I think I might just stay back here and uh, okay these guys are merged just converge here and get ready for my next war of course my next war being to Science convert this Conet a new breakthrough. I'm not sure whether I want to wait for these guys to capitulate or whatever I guess it couldn't hurt 
I don't want to piss off my allies by starting more than one war at once. Even though we're handedly winning all of them, of course. I mean, these guys have no Ships chance. Refitted. I mean, they're just being rolled over. Inbound they're being steamrolled over. So, are you the Condit that I'm about to, uh... That I'm about to steamroll over as well? Ah, you are. You must have heard me. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, you are you are not spiritualist, my my good empire here, my good empire friend here. So you are gonna have to go. I guess I'll wait for these guys to capitulate. It won't be long now. Hopefully, my allies just invade one more planet. Then we're good to go. Come on, allies. Crusader. There we go. Time to change your ways. Alright. They've changed from the concern to the state. And they are fanatic spiritualists now. Which is excellent. Let's offer them all of the cool new things. Inbound message they don't want to join because of somebody. Resigned to go into planetary politics. Our Minister of Defense? One of the main commanders in this war wanted to go play planetary politics. Okay. I guess. I mean, if that's if that's really how you feel. <laughs> Alright. It's time to attack these guys. They seem to have a little bit more formidable of fleets. But of course, nothing compared to what we're about to throw at them. Impose ideology. Your destruction operations. will honor the Great Khan's memory. Maybe. Or maybe your destruction will... I don't know. Will that honor the Great Khan's memory? I feel like you've already not Science honored the Great Division Khan's memory by future. splitting into successor states. At least your successor states and Engaging not just enemy station. little successor marauder empires. So I guess that's kind of in the spirit of the Great Khan. Looks like these guys are going to be next. Do they... Yeah, it looks like they're concentrated to here. Yeah, I was just seeing... Oh, they do have one little system over here. With a whole bunch of... Whoa, what the... Oh, this is DACA, okay. I was like, what? What kind of system is that? Oh, we, we're finally getting Zero. That's good. Um, I guess we'll research phase disruptors. Why not? Do psionic supremacy. Uh, inner stability. And yeah, we're just going to advance straight to their capital if we can. No, we want to go this way. We want to go through their empire. Have our allies... Our allies have kind of turned around. Engaging Possibly they're a little bit done with us, but that's okay. We can win this war alone. We just need to bring our... Yeah, we just need to bring our... Our armies here. I don't know how far behind they are. 720 days. Okay, so they are already all the way back in our Engaging empire. Enemy station. I never brought them in the first place. Promising officer. Um, is that... I don't, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Let's see our leaders. Oh no, that was a good thing. Okay. Well, welcome aboard, promising officer. I don't think I have a fleet ready for you yet, Engaging but... Enemy station. Yeah, that's just how it is. We have arrived at their home system, and yes, it is completely destroyed. Um, I'm considering destroying this too. Yeah, I don't want any surprises. I'm going to just destroy it. Underway. Yeah. Let's just say goodbye to those uh, mercenaries. Goodbye. Mercenary enclave destroyed. Which of course gives us a bunch of resources which we don't need. Funnily enough. Um, let's wait until the battle is won here. Okay, how much... Wait, do we not have to reinforce? Did we not lose a ship? We lost one of the escorts that we get for free. Wow, we really didn't lose a ship. Okay, um, never mind. I guess we don't need to... <laughs> we, we don't need to uh, reinforce. I don't know what we're going to spend all these alloys on then. I guess I could build a new fleet. We're plus 526. Alright, you know what? I will build a new fleet. Well, let's 
Let's just copy the design of one of our other fleets, yeah. There we go, and reinforce that. Sounds good. Oh, I can also... I can also gift some alloys to our... Um, yeah, we want to help you build a bigger fleet. We'll also share our technology with you. Who, um... We want you to recall your fleet. Who are they renting to currently? Um... Oh! <laughs> these guys are renting our fleet? Man, if they weren't, like, a really good ally of ours, I, I would, I would hate them. They just, I mean, I can't even blame them. They're just, they're just so strong. They're just, they're just constantly flexing on me by, by just on accident. Just being strong, they're flexing on me. Um, Inbound holy hell, we, what happened to the station here? <laughs> the war got so out of hand here, we destroyed their, their, like, main star base. What? They're not even, this system's not even on the map. Damn, things got out of hand. All right. Science division reports. Well, yeah, success. this empire Engaging is uh, is pretty station. much lost at this point. Fleet action underway. Uh, for some reason, they don't think they they're at a hundred percent war exhaustion yet, which uh, I don't I don't exactly know why. You've lost everything, including your enclave. Fleet action underway. So, maybe this will convince them further. Convinced them a little further. I don't know. Once we get our once we get our armies in here. Oh, our armies are already here. Yeah, once we get these touching down on their planets, I think they'll come around. And then, these guys are next. Our fleets are rapidly shredding down this planet. Yeah, they've surrendered. <laughs> we, we were not bombing that world for too long. Are they ready to surrender the war? No, even after losing your capital and all of your... A new breakthrough. All of your places and everything, you're just not... Not willing to settle. You only have five worlds. I've taken Inbound at least traffic. three or four of them. Sky when are you going to surrender? Hmm. Life harm. Interesting. These guys want to establish an embassy with us. Don't Ground tell me. Are you are the... No, you're the ones over here. You'll probably be last on the list. Embassy recalled. Yeah, I can imagine... <laughs> I can imagine the embassy will be recalled after what we're doing to you right now. Um, Let's go... Let's go for food. We've never been too positive on food. We're turning one of our ring segments into a food one. Unity one. Or no, wait. No, no, Unity Two. Yeah, Unity Two is gonna be for food. Sword one actual reports so, all ground objectives. Definitely secure. shouldn't have any problem with food after that. Let's get our war goals complete. And get ready for the next one. Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. Bam. By to commence Straight operation. into the next crusade. Free. We Repeat. considered Weapons you friends, free. did you? Well, you're kind of xenophobe militarists, so... Yeah. It's just how it is, bro. It's just how it is. And these guys, Holy Meridian underway. Covenant. Yes, that is that is much more, much more like... Much more like it. Inbound message traffic. Steel will grant them. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, um, I guess we can just go through and do the strategy of bombing traffic. them all. Fleet since, okay, underway. they're taking us on. Let's uh, see how that works. Science division nope, that did not work. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, these guys should be as easy to take down as the last guys and should go about the same. Yep, they've already lost one of their eight planets. Our Galactic Crusade is going pretty, pretty well. We already have our three main targets out of the way. Well, four, if you include these guys. Of course, this was less of a crusade and more of... I guess it was a crusade. Yeah, so we are have our four main targets out of the way. Of course, uh, these guys in a recent war against, I'm guessing the Yildar, they all broke off from being a vassal, and I'm guessing, yeah, they're independent now, with these guys being the overlord of the Grinshu Pact, yeah. Wait, what are these guys? I guess they're also the vassal of these guys. I don't, 
I can't really tell because I have low diplomatic intel on them, but yeah, it's looking like we're going to need to go on another crusade down here. Thanks, Yildar, Coalition of Yildar. You can't hold on to your vassals. These were all once, of course, part of the Federation because they were your vassal, but I am perfectly fine with crusading against... Wait, didn't you used to be... No, these these are the uh, materialists. Wait, did they have a civil war here? Liberated. Oh. So these guys are the spiritualist liberated faction. Hmm. Hopefully we can get them back under uh, back under our wing here and just crusade against these 18 planet militarist authoritarians. I don't see any spiritualism in you. So, yeah. We'll probably finish up the rest of the Connet states and then go and take on our former Federation members. Hopefully we can do that in the next 20 years. We have done a productive 20 years regardless. And uh, we have 20 more to go. And then hopefully, we have 40 more to go if we win the psionic battle, which I can't see why not. We have plenty, plenty of, uh, let's see here, a planet with them. Yes, we have plenty of telepaths. We even have more telepaths on our capital. That's not our capital. This is our capital. It is a very spiritualist oriented capital. We have the Sanctum of the Instrument, of course, and we have Citadel of Faith. So how many... Yeah, we have five telepaths jobs here on the rest of our planets. Oh, we're missing telepath jobs here. But on the rest of them, we should have telepaths. This one? Yeah. Telepaths, yes. We should win. I mean, I, I'm sure it's RNG Spaceport at the end of the day, but, enemy contact. you know, we should have a good chance. I mean, last time they didn't even show up for some reason, so <laughs> they had little confidence that they would win. Let's bar off this system. I don't want to accidentally attack that thing for no reason. Um, this is just a one planet miner, so it should be pretty easy to impose my <laughs> ideology on them. Battle debris secured. These guys, these guys are not having it, even though we took the capital and all that. Still, they're not, they're not having it. Luckily, Space these guys are being very useful. Contact the uh, Sacrosant Foundation. I know I've had my differences with them, but man, are they useful. They're just a really good AI. And this is this is uh, with no advantage, by the way. Well, at least they're equivalent now. So we've caught up in technology at least, but yeah. These are um, these are, these are AI with no economic advantage at all. I mean, I also don't have an economic advantage. I'm not playing on easy, but I'm just playing on the normal difficulty where no one has an advantage and Man, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good for themselves. I know, uh... You know... S hyperspace speciality <laughs> and uh, Crusader Spirit are not exactly... Not exactly meta perks, but... It still surprises me how well the AI is doing. Alright, let's declare this second war. Hopefully... Hopefully I'm not upsetting my Federation members by declaring... Secure. More than one war at a time. Hopefully I'm not. Science division reports and Let's just get in there. Um, our great leader died. Claws of gold. Let the masses mourn. Enemy station. I don't know who that was. But that was that was a commander. What were they in charge of? Oh, they were in charge of this. Okay, well I guess claws of lavender. You're now in charge. And let's move in. Fleet we should be able to just underway. uh, bomb their planet pretty quickly and. Okay, they've, they've split our fleets here, which is annoying. But they are very, very not strong, so... Let's see, can we just invade them outright? Oh yeah, we can just invade them outright. Don't even need to bomb them. Let's get these guys ground in the ground. ASAP. Ground objective secured. Great. And I'm assuming they're going to give in now? Bro, Space you have no planets. Enemy contact. You want me to take this too? I can, if you want. If that's what you want, I'll do it. Um, Hyperlane Supervisor, you can do that, sure. Engaging enemy station. Alright, we're taking out your last station, since that's what you want. Now you're gonna surrender? Yeah, now you're gonna surrender. You have no choice. Let's see. The Yuru Mandate. Thanatic Spiritualist Crusaders. Excellent. Yes, now, now I want very close diplomatic ties with you. You seem like good people all of a sudden. 
And I think these guys are next. Three planets? Yeah. Let's get to it. Um. Oh, wait. The experiment is... Is guaranteeing them. Interesting. How much influence do I have? Very interesting. Um, these, this is claimed... Hmm. Okay. I might want to, uh... Wait a second to get my fleets in position to attack the the experiment. Or at least to finish this war so our allies can attack the experiment. I don't want them to go on any rampage. I mean, we still have our Federation fleet back here and then another fleet as well. A pretty much full strength traffic. fleet, so... It wouldn't be too much of an issue if I just attack them, but... I guess it can't hurt to be prepared. What about these guys? Okay, we can go to war with these guys, no problem. Do these guys have their borders open to us? No, they do not. Can we... Can we get to... Oh, wait, they do. They have their borders open to us, just not many of our allies. Interesting. Yeah, let's just get uh, up close and personal with... This empire. That is the one that's headed into Neb, right? Yeah, Deneb. Alright. We'll take out these guys first, and then we'll position ourselves to attack the experiment and the successor Conant together. These guys have ended their secret fealty to me, which I couldn't care about in the least. A little liberated nine planet empire over here. I mean, I did like them. They're the only, <laughs> the only empire that's not really in our borders that I don't need to, don't need to crusade against. But whatever. We've also won our war, of course. And we're headed towards our next one. Oh, here we are. We're just sitting in the station. Inbound preparing and preparing. Traffic. Um, They're more xenophobic. Okay. I mean, if you say so. Someone wants to establish embassies. Oh, yes. Of course we will establish an embassy and also give you some Federation Association as well. Inbound message traffic. Um, migration treaty? Sure. Sounds good to me. <gasps> Who are we inviting to the Federation? Who are we inviting? Um, oh, these guys! The first people we've liberated, of course, will allow them into the Federation. Uh, donated all his possessions and disappeared. Their head of research. Okay. Um, Alright, I guess. Oh, what's, what's this guy good at? Ship upkeep? I mean, all right, sure. Permanent communications have been established. Federation the invitation. Empire. Here we go. The fruits of our labor, the fruits of our crusades, are finally coming to bear, and I'm sure more are on the way. Let's see. How close are these guys to joining the Federation? Oh, everyone would vote no for some reason. Council agenda ready. Hmm. Interesting. What about these guys? I guess we can't really see. Hmm. I assume there will be more on the way. Um, our great commander has died as well. And many people, many people dying. Oh man, th th that was our lord commander as well. Uh, I guess we'll do this guy. For plus 2% weapons damage plus 10% sublight speed. It's such a good trait. Skirmisher is just, might be probably the best trait. I don't even know. Maybe in the game. Um, I guess we'll do higher purpose. All right. Enough is enough. Let's get to war with the Greater Meridian Conant here and uh, impose our Standing ideology on them. Offensive operations. Here we go. This is the second to last. Oh, very strong fleet with a enclave to back it up. Engaging enemy station. I can't even. I can't even hate here. Oh, they're turning Same around to actually fight underway. us. Interesting. And pretty shredded, it, see, it looks like. Let's see. Um, we lost a few of our free Fallen Empire ships, but that's really only because they're faster and went there first, I think. That about does it for this war. Let's just start bombing these planets and... Yeah, have another person converted to the right side. How many planets do they even have? They have seven. Might take a little bit, but certainly won't take too long. So we have won the war here. Awesome, awesome. 
Um, they've embraced Xenophobe, which I knew eventually one of these kingdoms would uh, immediately embrace something other than our civics that we imposed on them. That is why I went fanatic spiritualist in the first place, because if not, they would have definitely taken Xenophobe over spiritualist. But, uh, yeah. Okay. They didn't like me at first, but now they are on board. Which, of course, they should be. Complete. And with all of that out of the way, I think it's finally time to possibly declare war against these guys. Yeah, these guys. They're guaranteed by the experiment. I kind of, I kind of considered getting a, divi a divine enforcer against these guys. I mean, we have plenty of ascension perks available to us. So I was going to do Colossus and Divine Enforcer and just wipe out all of the robots instead of making another cleanup empire or any nonsense like that. These guys doing okay? How's their economy doing? Pops 185, economy 65. <laughs> eh, it's not too terrible. I mean, they're, they haven't had any, you know, they haven't had any revolution, so. Yeah, but I don't want to do that again. Also, they've had a revolution, apparently. Rebelled against the experiment. It's weird. What a weird little glitch. Oh, they're on a machine world. Yeah, and all of these are machine worlds, I'm pretty sure. Right? I mean, well, the ones that aren't habitats. Let's see. That's also a habitat, isn't it? Yeah, that's a habitat. Um, Do we have a non-habitat somewhere? Yeah, here. Generator Science world, machine world. So, success. yeah, they were in the middle of converting all of these worlds to machine worlds, but we stopped them. But it looks like we didn't stop them well enough. Wait. Species Storm Rider? Wait, is that the robot? No. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what? How do they have a governor that's like a normal person? I, I don't know. I haven't really played with machines or just alt consciousness since, uh... Really since Paragon's released, which is... A little bit crazy. I need to play as a just all consciousness. I, I barely even know how they work anymore, so... Yeah. Hmm. Keep an eye out for a future playthrough, but... Yeah, I think I want to do a Divine Enforcer and take these guys out. I think we've crusaded enough over here. We'll leave this little three-planet miner with the guarantee for now. I know I was going to attack them, but... I think it's definitely fine for now if we don't. In fact, I think I want to go and take out the real threat down here, which is these guys. These guys are the overlord, right? Yeah, overlord of someone else. So, yeah, we'll... Oh. Holy Meridian Covenant. This is a bad person to set up a, <laughs> a defense pact with, and you'll soon figure that out. But, yeah, I guess we could also upgrade our ships first and then go after them. We have a good, a good amount of highway through... Hyperlane Highway through the galaxy now with our Federation. And our Federation is looking beefier than ever. We have taken a couple good chunks out of this one little blemish we had over here. And uh, we may have lost some territory in this area, but we've also gained some territory. Soon we will gain more, hopefully, as I will forcefully convert them. Yeah, but first, we should upgrade and prepare. We have psionic shields now. I don't know... I don't know exactly if if we're using them yet. Let's look at our battleship. Okay, well, let's get rid of this auto battleship. I don't even know why it's a thing. Yeah, so we have pretty much maxed out. I mean, we could also go kinetic battery as well, and we're not using psi shields for whatever reason. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's get these guys upgraded to that. I think that is a much better ship design. A gun pointed to the head of the universe. And of course, that gun is going to be a divine enforcer. Of Tracking course, we are building... Yeah, Titan Assembly Yard. We already have Colossal Assembly Yards, which means we can start... Well, if we had the... <laughs> if we had the alloys, we could start on our Juggernaut. Let's see. Does that get us started on our Juggernaut? Nearly. Nearly. Let's give it a month. Let's make sure our Juggernaut is sensible, at least. Uh, we have our Battleship class. I've changed out the artillery for the Giga Cannon, which I think just I think just works better overall. 
And then of course we have all the missiles and advanced strike craft we need. We could also we could also do this with whirlwind missiles and have our battleships be faster. I could, but we haven't run into an issue where they need to be faster yet. So um I think whirlwind missiles would work better on this juggernaut though, for sure. And then I think a strike craft damage works really well for our empire. Yeah, this juggernaut will be very nice. Um, I guess we'll just auxiliary fire control chance chance to hit. I'm not sure that really affects much when it comes to. I, I guess we'll keep. I don't know. Maybe we'll just make it beefier. I don't know. Reactive armor, sure, could do some of that. And yeah, we have so many sh sonic shields on this thing. We can even have more. Wow, we can have a lot of shields. I want to leave some armor. But how many shields will this even have? 39,000. And with... Yeah. It's a large it's a large amount of everything. And then 40%... Or, er, yeah. 20% speed, 20% damage. Yeah, I think that works really well. Considering this is our battleship design. We're kind of a carrier. We're not really a carrier, but we're definitely kind of a carrier. So, yeah, let's get that Juggernaut built. Hopefully we can still afford it e even after my modifications. Okay, we, st we still can. And let's get that thing up to the top. Ships refitting. If you don't know how I did that, that's shift and then pressing the top key. So, yes sir. Scrapper. I don't think we need a Scrapper or a Trickster. I guess we'll do a Trickster here. We have all of our fleets upgrading at the moment. Getting ready for the Crusade down here. It looks like these guys are in a crusade of their own. Xenophobe, fanatic, egalitarian rebels. Interesting. Wait. Subterranean. They're not rebels? Why are they at war then? It's an uprising. Wait, how are they? <laughs> wait, wait. Enemies. Yeah, this is definitely a revolution, so why is it not revolution origin? Interesting. Subterranean. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we could have used this. That's for sure. But we just spent all of our money, which we make 3k a month. We have our Dyson Sphere almost complete here. I think 50% of energy. Wait, this nice. is only 50%? Oh my success. gosh. We are going to be swimming. Swimming in it. And by it, I mean, of course gonna be swimming in energy and alloys we're not doing too bad on either Ships we could really refitted. go way over our Special naval capacity if we complete. needed to okay we have the divine enforcer wait we have it done oh we can start building that too um let's see the design let's make sure it's not stupid it isn't stupid okay wait <laughs> what is it called hold on egg of ruination I I mean I know we're avians, but that's a little <laughs> that's just uh, that's a little silly, no? All right, let's get that thing to the top, and then yeah, we might even have that for our next war. Complete. I don't know if I'm gonna use the divine enforcer against these guys. That would be kind of a little much. Complete. I don't want everyone to hate us. Okay, no ship repair, which is fine. Yeah, I don't want everyone to hate us though. So I'm not sure not sure if we're going to use it, but we are definitely going to use it on the robots. Whether everyone hates us or not, they will thank us in the end. Once we have everyone here spiritualist, which pretty much already are. Everyone here spiritualists and, uh, of course, no disgusting AI empires. They will thank us in the end. We are ready for probably our last crusade. Let's see, when does our term end. No, we still have some time. We still have some time, but yeah, this is a uh, time for a crusade. Also, five-year plans, which is good. Oh, we're close to overtaking the Sacristan Foundation. I don't think in economy, though. Yeah, not in economy, just in diplomatic weight for different reasons. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Time for war. Time to impose ideology on these guys. These guys are the most important, right? Overlord of... Yeah. 
Yeah, no, no. these guys are the most important that we take take to war. We are not surprised. In fact, we expected you sooner. Did you really? Did you really? Interesting. Yeah, we'll just go here. I don't think we're going to use our Define Enforcer on these guys. I don't think there's much of a point. And plus, I'm not sure. It might be done. It might not by the time our war ends. They were calling our embassy. Construction complete. I, don't, I don't care too much, really. I don't care. Um, oh, we don't have any debris Engaging yet. Okay. Enemy station. And Science yeah, I'm guessing our fleets success. could probably split up as well and take on these worlds. I don't think any one or two of their fleets will take on will take on one of our fleets by itself and win, so I'm guessing we can split. I mean we could also split into groups of two just to be safe. Construction complete. But yeah, there's there's really no losing this war. Something something incredibly bad would have to happen for that to be the case. Um these guys are not on full bombardment here here, so uh, 12,000. That's their, that's their fleet there? Yeah. I think we'll Engaging be, uh, just fine. Just when I thought I was getting enough diplomatic weight, <laughs> the Sacrosant Foundation is absolutely clowning on us again by doing the Interstellar Assembly, which is something else. I mean, let them do it. I, I don't really Engaging care. Are they doing it in their capital? Station. Nope, they have a strategic Fleet coordination center. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these guys, we, we have done the more economic route. We are building our Dyson Sphere, and we're also currently starting on our Matter Decompressor. It'll be it'll be done soon, in fact, actually. And we also have a few Ringworld segments. Yeah, we definitely go with the Matter Decompressor, though. Boost our economy even further to the point where we can... Construction complete. We can just go way crazy over our capacity here. Jump drives? We don't need jump drives. We want side jump drives eventually. We don't have them now. I also wouldn't mind the Crisis coming in. I think we have very powerful fleets here. I don't see much of an issue. In fact, yeah, let's go for the jump drive. I don't really mind. I think most of our crusading is done. Only thing left we have is really these guys, and I'd be happy with the galaxy the way it stands. With, uh, you know, hopefully more people trickle into our federation, but if they don't, I think we've we've done a good amount. What the... Fanatic materialists? Where? In Wankwort? Uh, no. What are you talking about? No. We'll, we'll have to take care of those guys at some point. We cannot just let that stand. Uh, integrated gardens, sure. I can't believe Tithe of the Soulless is not... Engaging oh. enemy station. You'd think that would be more, more f supported throughout the galaxy, but uh, no. Okay, we can't go in there. Okay. Do we have to declare war on these guys as well? I guess we do. Okay. Well, we will. Standing by to commence no point offensive in operations. not doing that. Yeah, I think they'll uh, surrender pretty easily. We're gonna actually take out the fleets that are attacking them and then and then attack them ourselves. Yeah, I wouldn't say saved. More like Engaging enemy station. More like under new management. Yeah, they just got shredded. Absolutely no Fleet losses on our part. Underway. Oh my gosh, they got shredded. Yeah, see this is why this is why battleship spam is just it's just so good. Um, wait, complete. did we upgrade a mega structure? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, now we're getting two thousand five hundred. Jeez. Fleet action. Sleepers awake. It began subtly, but the Dorbalon? Yeah, the Dorbalon. I've turned into the Dorbalon Crusaders. Well, I think you'll you'll find that plenty of crusading has already happened. Oh, they just bumped up to equivalent, which is kind of scary. They're arrogant. They have their borders closed to all of us, seems like. Fleet action underway. Interesting. I think they are... Mm, 
giants in the playground. They are spiritualist after all, but uh, the crusade of the righteous has already happened, old man. And it already happened here as well. We have won this war and they are part of our associative status. And we're about to win this war too. Bam. Thank you, allies, and thank you, very big military. Engaging enemy station. And it is done. These guys have converted to our wonderful religion, which is excellent. And only a good amount Ships of lives refitted. were lost over it. Not too many. Inbound um, message traffic. They don't want to join our association status just yet. Science division. But they will. I'm sure they will. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of notifications here. Let's start out with... I don't know. We could recruit some more pilgrims. I guess it's not really necessary, though. I'd rather have the option to get more... Inbound rather have the option to get traffic. more alloys. A research agreement? No. What do you want? Two specialist pops? No. Get the hell out of here. Um, there has been another pop-up of a materialist empire, so I think I'll just immediately... Oh, they're cordial with me. Why are they cordial? We are not cordial, bros. <laughs> we are not cordial. I'll, I'll send these two guys over here to, um, to crush these guys into the dust here. What about you guys? You would take a Federation Association status. Oh, we have the big pirates. The weird pirates. Um... They're in the space of our weird ally over here. All right, uh, sure. What? Who knows? Inbound message traffic. 40,000 this time, interesting. Man, so many so many things are happening. And integrated gardens got passed. So yeah, we'll go and liberate those guys. Why can we not offer association status? Federation member Commonwealth has declared them a rival. Where's the Commonwealth? Which one is that? I don't see any commonwealth. Oh, is it? Oh, it's these guys. Our original member. Why have you... Why have you made them your enemy? I, I don't... I don't understand. But alright. Sure. Are these guys ready to accept association status? No. And we don't know why. They're cordial with us. They do like us. I guess maybe one of their their vassals is rivaled to us or something? I, I, I don't know. Seems like just converting these guys isn't enough to bring them into the fold. But uh, converting them is enough for me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Having a giant, big, spiritualist, happy galaxy. Well, happy enough is enough for me. I think the last thing we're meant to do here is make tributary? No, I don't want to make you my tributary. I wish I could make some arbitrary claim against them that they'll never that they'll never accept. Or I could I could impose ideology on these guys and then wipe them out. We have our colossus done, yes. Yes, our colossus is finished and so is our juggernaut. So yeah, we'll, we'll go and upgrade these ships. I have, in fact, got the jump drive technology. So, the Crisis, the Unbidden, or whoever. I guess I didn't pick a Crisis. Whoever could show up at any any moment. Yeah, we're not sharing 35 technologies with you, bro. It's not happening. So, yeah. I think there's one last task we have to do in this galaxy, and that's to crush this stupid machine empire that's been a eyesore for so long. The most important and last crusade. It is the final day of our presidency, or at least it's supposed to be. I will make sure that is not the case, but uh, yeah, our wars, uh, our final crusades are definitely going to have to be declared today, even though we're not in position, which is fine. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Operations. We are, of course, weapons going to be free. doing this. Weapons free. How long have you been planning this disgraceful war? Um, As soon as we met. I, I, as soon as this little symbol popped up on my screen, we planned that war. And then, of course, we're also going to need to plan... We're also going to need to do this war. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, I wanted to 
make a claim here and a claim here, just on some random systems, to make sure that uh, to make sure that these guys don't capitulate immediately when I declare war on them. But I'm pretty sure I can do a two for one special here. If I declare war on these guys, then also these guys would be dragged in, and yeah, we have two claims, so the claims would also work. So yeah, we would not only have to subjugate these guys, or well, not subjugate, uh, impose our ideology on these guys, but also claim those two systems. And the point of all of that nonsense war goal different things is that I don't want them to capitulate as soon as we start um, divinely enforcing their worlds, which will just wipe them out as they are machine worlds. So yeah, here Standing we go. By to commence offensive um, operations. Weapons free. Meridian Repeat. War Weapons of Belief. Free. Uh, what, what did we lose? Oh, that science ship. Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. So the Rot have shown their true colors. Yes, of course. And now... I think... Yeah, I think upgrades be damned. We just, uh, we just push in. Can't... We can't, uh, we, we don't have time to upgrade. We don't... We don't really have time. Although jump drives would be really nice. We don't have time for them, so we just need to get here. Ships 300 days. That is just fine. We have a highway. Look at our faction. What the hell? This is... This is very... Look at this. All of our people in one perfectly happy faction. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this before. 1% militarist, 99% spiritualist. Huh. And then our mega structures are looking nice. All of our tabs are looking nice. This is a very nice screen here. If we can... I don't know, if we can destroy these guys before the crisis spawns, I'm not sure we even need to fight the crisis. I mean, I never stated that I wanted to complete the game or win the game or anything. I just kind of wanted to build a massive, um, holy covenant, and I think we did. Science division Pretty sure the name of this video is going to be the ultimate holy covenant or anything. Uh, assassinated by an escaped inmate. What? He's only 57 years old. I don't- what was he- what was he governing? I don't even know. Yeah, let's just- I- uh, I don't know. We can do- yeah, let's just do that, I guess. We have a lot of explosive weaponry. Man, we're already here. Okay. We're already on their border with our- <laughs> with our nuke, basically. I guess Science we'll division. Reports set it up to do through. these guys. We might ruin all of our relations station. doing this, but- oh, what is this? Simulation complex. Well, I didn't think it was a giant temple like ours. By the way, this is what our holy world is, or <laughs> I meant to say home world, but yeah, pretty much holy world. And then we have, yeah, orbital filing system and then Psy Corps as well. So we've definitely specced it all into Science Division. Unity. I mean, of course, if we made it a, if we made it a Ecumenopolis, we could spec it even more into Unity with these, but. I haven't got the Arcology Project. I haven't really needed it. And I don't think I ever am going to get the Arcology Project. In fact, if I get anything else this playthrough, if, if I even pick another one, it'll be this one for the fleet capacity. So, fleet action yeah. Underway. Also, the naval capacity will be nice. Oh man, here we are. Here we are. Biggest war of the game. Biggest battle of the game, I mean. Let's slow this down and watch closely. Hmm. Our Federation fleet is uh, taking some losses here, but that's because the Federation fleet kind of suck. Like, it's got all these destroyers and all this other nonsense, when we could just be battleship spamming. Oh, this is... These are my two weird fleets here. This is my Zealot fleets, and this is my Federation fleet. Of course, yeah, the last of our strike craft are just hunting down these rocks. And let's see. Yeah, absolutely smashed. I mean, we also got beaten up in the process, but it is not a huge deal at all. Um, oh, this guy leveled up. Let's do that. And yeah, I think we're good. I think that was most of their fleets. Yeah, I think that was all of their fleets, actually, now that I'm looking around their empire. And of course, these guys, I mean, they're not going to put up much of a fight. Our allies will probably go crush them. I'm not too interested in crushing them. I am more interested in making sure that all of these worlds are purged of robots. 60 robots, machine world. I, th 
think we're gonna be just fine clearing this thing out. Oh yeah. There's the glow, baby. There is the glow. Oh man, so many things to manage. I guess it doesn't even really matter anymore. Kinda in the end game here now. And that is a burnt up machine world. Divinely enforced. Okay. All gone. No more machines. And let's do it to the next thing. And this is kind of how the war is going to go. Lots of conversions. And of course, since we can't convert, lots of deaths. Which is completely fine. Ooh. Anchor. Plus 500. Yeah, how's our economy doing now compared to these stupid guys? Still... <laughs> Still, still 2,600 behind. No, 2,200 around. Oh, man. Alright. At least we have delayed, we, we have kind of cheesed our way into being the forever president. Um, <laughs> as soon as these wars are over, we are going to be not the president anymore. Speaking of wars, where is, where's our other fleets? Okay, these guys, they're on their way. It's going to take them 500 days to get here. All right, well. Engaging enemy station. We have more important things to focus on, I suppose. Like shining a divine light on this stupid little robot habitat. 17 robots, now zero. And, uh, yeah, on to the next. Oh, this is, oh, now this is a machine world. It looked like a, looked like a desert world for a second. Anyway, we're bombing it. I completely missed this entire thing happening. The custodian ship, I did not see that we were voting for that. I guess I was... I guess I was, uh... Okay, these guys nominated the Desiccation League. No one nominated me. Looks like. Which, alright, I guess. Success. But, uh, yeah, these guys... These guys have taken the custodian ship role, which is... Something else. I guess... I, I don't know. What are we... Are we in a crisis because of the... The Awakened Empire? I guess? I mean, is that what we're really... All upset about right now? I, I don't even know why we even have a custodian. But yeah. I I got trolled once again. So... I, I don't even know what to say. These guys... Constantly making a fool of me. And their diplomatic weight has absolutely soared... Yeah, soared past mine at this point. Migration treaty broken. Is that because... Is that because of the... Converted a world? Yeah, these guys don't like me converting worlds, which... I don't see why not. And they're robots. If I was converting, like, people's worlds, then yeah, that would be... That'd be a little messed up. But, um... Kind of just killed a lot of machine worlds. I mean, look at all these machine worlds. Disgusting. I'm gonna kill more. And I mean, I really don't need to kill this one though. Because it's only it's only a habitat with three machines on it. It honestly does more damage to our reputation than this empire at this point. Pretty sure this empire is completely gone, except the one planet that uh we claimed, which is excellent. It uh, everything has completely gone to plan here. Seventeen planets they still have. Huh. Are they all like habitats or have these guys been just busy invading them? Habitat. Let's see. Another habitat. Probably just habitats at this point then. Another habitat. Oh, here's a world. Machine world with 50 on it. So, here's the thing. You can actually just divinely shine down on worlds that have already been captured by your allies. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that. I'll let these guys capture this little, I don't know, habitat or whatever. It's not important that we kill the three machines on that habitat. It's more important that we kill the rest. Oh, and they capitulated. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, their economy is ruined. Their technology is fine. And they have lost a good amount of their planets. Some to us, of course. Which we will immediately just kill all of the drones. We don't have any people on this planet, so I could actually just move all of them to a different world to be purged, which is what I'm going to do. Because I have no use for this machine world, none at all. 
Uh, yeah, and then the last one we'll just let get purged real quickly so that world gets destroyed. And then we'll do that for the second world we got, which I think we claim somewhere around here. Yeah, here. And this was just a habitat. Okay. Well, let's just move these guys to Navaden to be purged, and then hopefully no one will move here before these guys die. Message traffic. They're trying. I don't know why. I, I don't even want these worlds. Um, Crushal pack broken. That's Science fine, I guess. <laughs> these guys, they like us more after that, apparently. I guess they respect our gumption. Sure. Alright. So yeah, the Crusade of the Righteous has pretty much been completed. I mean, I don't think these guys... Let's see their capital. Yeah, their capital is just some terrible habitat. Um, This is a machine world we missed. We missed a few machine worlds for sure. This one and this one I wish I could have gotten. But yeah, I think we did about what we tr were trying to do. Um, What is still being bombed over here? Yeah, these guys have so many worlds for one system. One... Two, three, four worlds, and then a fifth one in one system. A five planet, like little minor empire here. Just interesting. Let's get to bombing these guys, and let's, of course, get to declaring war against these guys, these material slavers, Standing materialist offensive slavers, uh, and uh, make sure that our Federation leadership doesn't end prematurely we still have things to do and of course a side effect of that war is uh, these guys these guys uh, converted oh wait I thought these guys were these guys these guys yeah they still don't really like us too much they're wary of us oh yeah oh apparently terror bombing they, they're not okay with but us converting worlds they're they're fine with sure all right yeah, let's just go and take out this little little wankwort system and then, uh, I don't know. I don't know what after that. I guess we'll see. Well, it seems like most of our goals have been accomplished. This little empire here is, oh, not this one, <laughs> obviously. Those, those are the invading forces. Um, that was one of our original Federation members, I think. But, uh, yeah, this little... I don't know. Slaving despot materialists are about to capitulate, which means if we want to keep this uh, Federation President train going, we're going to need to start another war. Which brings me to my last war, I think. I think I'm going to... Uh... Oh, our allies have one claim. Interesting. Standing yeah, by we're going to need to mark our... Yeah, Weapons you have been marked free. for extermination. Repeat. Good luck, Weapons buddy. Free. Good luck. Let's get in there. And hopefully, before these guys can surrender, I can take out both of their worlds with the Egg of Oblivion. Fleet I guess the name has kind of grown on me, Egg of Oblivion. Ships and there's refitted. our glorious Federation fleet taking it Ships out. Refitted. Yeah, it's gone. These guys, probably, uh, pro I'll probably be able to take both of them out. We're, we're definitely not going to... We're not going to uh, message traffic. bomb this world. I guess we couldn't take it even if we did bomb it. Because robots don't surrender bombed planets. Our matter decompressor is great. Okay, we did that just in time. Because we just won this war. <laughs> now they are the enlightened kingdom of Relriet. Cool. Yes, we are. you are just how we like you. But yeah, I think these are the last few wars that our empire is going to do. We have uh, pretty much all of the galaxy converted. We have these guys converted. We don't really have their vassals converted for the most part. Wait, do we? Where is their... Uh... Oh, wait. That guy is spiritualist too. Huh. Yeah, we have these guys converted. We have these guys spiritualist already. So, all spiritualist and all spiritualist over here all of the Connet successor states we have gone to war with and even not the Connet successor states we have turned spiritualist so i think our galactic crusade is coming to an end i would i mean if this was any other type of fallen empire i would attack it but it's spiritualist so there's no real need to as we uh inbound message traffic yeah as we finish our playthrough inbound ooh, message traffic divine light I like the sound that makes. Sure, let's do a commercial pact. Oh, 
What happens? Tracking space life oh, form. it's gone. Goodbye, machine world. Silly machines. Thinking they can make a world. Okay, and they're not surrendering, which is great. Oh, because someone's claiming the system. Awesome. Yeah, now we'll be able to take them out fully. So two more machine worlds gone. The rest of the machine empire is in shambles. And uh, most of the machine worlds have been purged by our divine enforcer. I think I can, I can call that a win. Uh, I, the goal of this playthrough, of course, was to spread spread our faith and spread our holy covenant. And I think one look at the galaxy map will show that we definitely did do that. And given a few more years, I think we definitely would have the rest of these guys in our federation. We'll not join a federation with the coalition of Yildar. Yeah, there's a few people who are just rivals with people in our federation that's holding us back, but... Yeah, minus distance is the only thing stopping these people from joining our federation anyway. Um, oh. And with the war over and the end of the shock sentience... Shazerok sentience? Yeah. That is the end of them. Now there's just two barren worlds. We have another psionic battle. The spirits of the Shroud grow increasingly restless when the time draws near to decide who should lead the Sacrosanct Covenant during the next term. Probably the last term. Actually, definitely the last term. It is time for each candidate's best psychics to journey to Navaden, the capital of the current president. Of course, Navaden. Our wonderful world where we have how many? We have five telepaths and 36 priests. And then seven high priests. Glorious Navaden. Oh. Our ring looks pretty. Anyway. Um... To bolster our powers of our own psychic champions, we could tap into our Zero Supply. It will give us an advantage in battle. Yeah, supply our psychics with a fair amount. We have plenty of Zero. And hopefully we win. Oh man, this is a pretty scene. Oh wow. I like whatever background this is. I don't really know. I think we're in a nebula. I think we started in a nebula, yeah. Well, let's take this. I don't... Are we? Pretty sure. Which nebula, though? Okay, Shining Pearl Nebula. We did start in a nebula. Oh, we got defeated. <laughs> we got defeated by... Oh, my God. As the psychics gather for the battle, a sense of palatable dread premieres over Navaden. There are reports of sudden and violent thunderstorms. Shadows where none should be, unexplained sounds, and the smell of ozone everywhere. The battle begins as the teams clash. Our psychics do us proud, but in the end, the strain, praves, the strain proves too much for them. They vanish in a sudden flash, banished for all of eternity into the most tempestuous regions of the Shroud? Mm. Anyway, when the swirling energies finally subside, only the psychics of the uh, Sacrosant Foundation remain. Yeah. I guess that is a fitting end to this playthrough. These guys are back on top. Kind of how they always have been. They are the Galactic Custodian and they have completely mogged us throughout the entire game when it comes to our economy. We almost caught up actually. Only a thousand away. But we've said that before. We, we said, oh, we're only a thousand away before. And then they, uh, then they smash us again. So, I think that is a fitting, a fitting end. They're back on top. But we have, of course, achieved our Galactic Crusade in our small time in the limelight. And that's really all you can ask for. So, yeah, I guess that about ends the video. If you like the video, feel free to like the video. And if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe or don't. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.